Hi everyone, Tony from Mac the Movies here, and we did it! We made it to the end at last! The Return of the King for its 20th-ish anniversary! Yay! Woo! We did it! Today, I'm talking about tapes. Tapes, we're talk, talking, talk, talking, talking about tapes. Hi, Joe. Hello, Tony. Your mic is on. Okay, good. Your mic is on. I'm glad. Hopefully the premiere is going well. Last... The Two Towers uh, episode, the premiere glitched. That's right. I forgot about that. It didn't that. show up in people's subscription feeds. People didn't even know we reviewed it. Sweet. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully none of that is happening. It's just another normal Lord of the Rings episode. It's the, it's the last Lord of the Rings episode. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> technically. Until we force ourselves to do The Hobbit. Well, that's, yeah. That's, and, you know, we got, our, we got our normal Lord of the Rings crew, me and Joe. Oh, right, Johanna. Uh, so, hmm. you know her husband, Ian. Yeah. Loves Troll too. Yeah. Oh, my God, she went to Nilbog? Well, he was upset that she was talking about movies that have goblins and trolls. That wasn't Troll 2. Yeah. So he locked her in a tower. Okay. And uh, she will not be joining us. So even though she's still very much alive, she's in that tower, and we're just going to forget about her. Kind of like this movie, locks someone else in a tower and just wants you to forget about them in some versions. <laughs> so, yeah, she's locked in the tower because her her husband uh, doesn't want her to talk about this movie unless it's... Well, I watched the extended edition, so yeah. I know I know what happens to her. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes. And that's that's the true story. She's being held captive in Neil Bog Tower, <laughs> and she definitely didn't get sick the day of shooting... After we rescheduled, <sighs> that girl needs to take some vitamin C, man. I, I, some of that emergency. So, so, Joe, it's just me and you at the end. Much like this is Sam it. and Frodo. Yeah, we're just two. Oh, Mister Tony. Yes. we're going into Mount Doom together, are we? Yes, we are. We're 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 both going in. We're finishing the journey together, and we're gay. All right, <laughs> return to the game. <laughs> Joe. I'm going to kiss you on the head at the end of the episode, okay? <laughs> it's a totally normal thing, dude. To send you off, yeah. And I make gays and happy. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Return of the King. Return of the King, yeah. You know, after those first two movies, everyone wanted to see this one. Yeah, it was like, like it, it finally reached the peak. And yes. people were like, holy shit. Everyone was on board. Yeah. Except for people who didn't like it, I guess. But everyone else sure. was on board. Only if you the most, saw like, the movies, if you love the movies, you're like, well, I got to see how it ends. Yeah, well, yeah. And they were going big or they were going home. It was like a huge thing. That baby came out in theaters. What was it like when you saw this in theaters? Um, Did I talk about it on the last one? I don't remember. Okay, well, let's just, we're going to just retread that real yeah. quick. So I didn't see the first one in theaters. I okay. saw it on I saw it on video after yeah. it had come out. But then I went to go see, after that I was like, so I went to go see yeah. Two Towers. And then I went to go see Return of the King. Yeah. I don't remember seeing Return of the King the first time, yeah. very vividly, but I remember the next time when they have those like marathons where they did like the extended editions, like mm -hmm. in theater, back to back to back to back. Um, I remember the last time I saw it was in there, and I, I had a great time. Yeah. Nice, it was awesome. Yeah, I uh, let me tell you, I have no words for what it was like seeing Return of the King in theaters because you didn't. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to see God. it in theaters. It was real busy. <laughs> was it 2003? I was still a father judge on the wrestling team. There was mm -hmm. a lot going on. I was probably studying for final exams, which I probably failed. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't get a chance to see this one mm -hmm. in theaters. But then I got the DVD, the the full full screen 4x3 DVD oh, yeah. of the theatrical cut. Mm -hmm. And I watched it with the family. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> that was perfect. They wrapped up everything. Maybe not so much that Saruman thing, but everything else yeah. was wrapped up perfectly. <laughs> They, they defeated the Lord. They went back. The Shire was being scoured. Oh, wait, they forgot to do that part. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> even though they showed a vision of it in the first one. Which was kind of um, cool. I, I, think will, all, I think that's all you need, for the, in yeah. my opinion. You know what was the one good thing of delaying this review? What? I actually had time to read the book. because I, I did not. I didn't before. It was just, I was so busy this year. Full disclosure. Last year. Full disclosure. Yeah. I worked like all weekend on stuff no, and then fine. the last thing i did yesterday was watch return of the king <laughs> at 9 30 at night and finished at two in the morning and then i went to sleep and woke up for work 
Hey man, I do notes. You could have went off memory. No, uh, it's all right. Well, I watched it and I'm like, I know this. You can you can go off memory if it's a movie you've seen a bunch of times. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think we're good. Yes. Yeah. I finally got a chance to read the book, which I had never read before. No, I, you know what? I I don't think I've ever read Return of the King. Well, I'm up to date on it, Joe. Well, you're and the I'm man. chewing ice. Sorry about that. I just it's just one of those things where like I need to finish yeah, the yeah. series. No, know? I got you. Yeah, so I have some knowledge of what happens in the book now. Okay. I know the changes that they made. Okay. <laughs> you gotta you gotta lay it on us. I will lay it on you, not as much as I did in that first episode, because okay. that was like a two and a half hour episode. <laughs> it's like the extended edition. It's like the extended yeah. edition. I'm much more familiar with like um Fellowship and Two Towers. Okay. So Return of the King is the one I watch the least. Really? Yeah. I think it's the opposite just because, like, I didn't get the extended cut till like, years afterwards. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So, like, this is the one that I could put on and not have to change discs. So, for oh, right. years, I was just throwing <laughs> this baby on. And I'm I, like, I want to watch Lord of the Rings, but I don't want to get up and change the discs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I didn't see up until that Blu-ray set. I had seen some of the scenes online, but sure. I hadn't actually watched mm -hmm. the full extended cut until 2011. Oh wow, that's I mean that's the way to watch. Uh, yeah, all with of that Blu-ray, don't get the 4K Blu-rays. I think we talked about this. Um, they uh, color corrected it to look more like the Hobbit movies. Oh, apparently, oh god, why? I don't know. No, that that one that one's a great one. Yeah, I got that on Amazon. They had like a sale. It was yeah. like, I got it for like fifteen bucks. Oh, nice. So yeah, yeah. If you can get that, I would get that. Mm -hmm. That was that's a good box set. Opposite of the Matrix one, the Matrix 4K that came out oh, a few yeah. years ago, they fixed the color correction okay. to make it like for the first movie. Because it was just all green? For years, they've been <laughs> color correcting the first movie to look like two and three. But for yeah. the 4K box set, they went back and changed it. And fixed it. Same thing with Halloween. When I watched Halloween. Oh, that's and right. it's, Yeah, we watched it together. Yeah. We, we watched Halloween and it's actual color correction. And it just felt weird because I've only seen the 2000s color correction. <laughs> right. Well, let's get into this let's wonderful do film. It opens up with the director of Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage, fishing with his brother. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, was that not is that not the director of Venom 2? Oh wait, yeah, Circus Andy did Serkis, do that. That's yeah, right. he did do that one. Yeah. I'm sorry, the director of Mowgli. Oh. That other Jungle Book movie that never came out in theaters and they shit it on Netflix and I still haven't watched it. Andy Circus. Ulysses S. Claw. Yes, Alfred. Uh Caesar. Right, right. <laughs> Other things. Stuff. Um, yeah, he is uh, Smeagol. This is a flashback to Smeagol yeah. and his brother Deagle. Deagle and Smeagol, yeah. You know, Tolkien, he uh, had a way with naming relatives. Faramir, Boromir. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, Eowyn, Eomir, Deagle, <laughs> Smeagol. It's actually a little easy to remember. I guess so. Because of that. But then also kind of confusing. Yeah, yeah, especially the bad guys, Sauron and Saruman. It's yeah, like, yeah, well, you go just Jim and Steve. I don't know why I'm yelling at a dead guy, but just call him like Jim and Steve. Jim and Steve. <laughs> Thrain, son of Thor, or whatever. <laughs> the bad guy, Gimli, son of Gloin. The bad guy, Tim. <laughs> He's a bad guy. Some people call him Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize I was quoting that shit. I was quoting Monty Python. <laughs> Tim the Enchanter. Yeah, he's in one of the mountains over there. I'm sure he is. <laughs> he probably is shooting fireworks. <laughs> um, Yellow, no blue. <laughs> so this this threw me off when I first uh, watched the film. I was like, oh, he had that stupid voice before he was a monster? It's not as intense. It's not. It's not as intense. And also, like, going back to this, because, again, I haven't I haven't watched this one in a while. Yeah. So, like, I loved uh, the the rawness of the beginning. Like, yeah. you're, we're at the end, and at, at the end, and we're, like, finally seeing the backstory of, mm -hmm. uh, of Smeagol, or Gollum, rather. And, uh, I don't know, it's pretty intense, man. Like, yeah, and it starts off real sunny and cheery, yeah. too. Uh, I will say, this movie, out of all of them, is the most, like, awkward green screens. And it starts here with Deagle fishing. When he's getting pulled by that giant yeah. fish, I'm like, oh, that doesn't that didn't hold up really. I don't good. know what it is about this one. So, like the last two had some wonky CGI, but for this one, like the green screens and some shots, they're like a little too flat and static. Dude, when Gondor's riding into battle one of those times, yeah. it's not good. Yeah, there there's a scene where like 
uh, Aragorn is talking to Legolas in yeah. Rohan, and it's just like that is uh, obvious. Yeah. Like it, I don't know what it is because then the other ones look great. I don't know. If they were cutting corners toward the end. I mean, they were making three very big movies at the time. At the same time, they were running out of steam. Tom. They were like, you know what? We're at the end. People Shit. are already on board. The money's almost gone. <laughs> we're already on board. Just cut corners here and yeah. there. But yeah, Deagle finds the ring, and uh, the ring, like, <laughs> like purely by how the hell did it get in this stream? By uh, the way, well, I think. In Fellowship, uh, Isildur, when he got like shot, remember it said like a oh, that's right, him? that's right, yeah. that's right, yeah. Um, and that shot of the hand grabbing is from the Fellowship yeah. like opening, yeah. Uh, yeah. So the ring, as we've seen in these previous films, slowly manipulates people, but here it just makes Smeagol kill the dude right away. I'll tell you what; those river folk are highly susceptible. <laughs> they are really; they're drawn yeah. to anger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> way, way meaner than the, the Shire ones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Hobbiton ones are a little bit more relaxed. They're like uh, the the what is it the uh, the time machine, the Morlocks, and the, oh, yeah. the other ones, the ones that live in the trees, and the ones that live underground. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So uh, he kills him. He puts on the invisible ring. And I don't know he what he does. Slowly. After. Yeah. I guess spirals. It, I guess at this point, like Sauron's not back yet. So putting on the ring doesn't, like, alert anyone? No, he's definitely not back yet because... because yeah, it's pre-Hobbit. It's pre-Hobbit, but Gollum's already Gollum in The Hobbit. Mm. So, yeah, when you put the ring on, you're just invisible and go crazy. Yeah. Well, well it, it corrupts you. I don't know why the ring is... you turn into a fucking monster. I don't know why the ring is driving people crazy. It's like, maybe I should just hang out until Sauron's back, because now I'm just hanging out with this fucking Gollum well, it's for 10,000 10, years. It's got its own agenda. <laughs> Like I'm gonna go get lost in a cave, <laughs> yeah. um, and he was waiting patiently, or mm. it was waiting patiently for uh, Bilbo, of course. Yes, yes. Yeah. So yeah, Smeagol gets cast out, and he slowly kind of cast himself out. Well, he says they cast out. Like, he's being thrown. We don't see who's throwing him. Yeah. Do you think he just jumped like, into that like, rock? Like, like DJ Jazzy Jeff getting thrown out the door and, <laughs> yes. and uh, in <laughs> Fresh Phil, Prince. <laughs> Uncle Phil picked up Smeagol. <laughs> Phil Gull, that was his name. <laughs> Tossed him out. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um, I love the makeup effects here of him so turning good. into Gollum. Yeah. That looks really creepy. It's, it's a good, uh, yeah, it, like how he's all distorted and stuff. Yeah, and it's a good uh, segue from like the practical effects to the CG. Yeah, I want to say that shot of like you don't even realize at first that he's like it starts with just his eyes, but then yeah. he's slowly transforming into the CG Gollum, yeah. which I thought was really cool. Which is cool. Yeah, yeah, I really like that effect a lot. Um, and then we cut, you know, to the future, and Frodo is still addicted to ring. He hasn't been able to kick that ring addiction. No, he's he's really, he's got it bad, dude. He's got it bad. He's got it bad. <laughs> Sam gives food to Frodo. I do like this moment where he's like, I rationed it for the journey home. And Frodo's like, that, thank you, Sam. Yeah, Frodo's like, that's nice. And then Sam turns around and he's like, we're not getting fucking home. We're dead. We're just so fucking dead. <laughs> well, even like later in the movie, he's like, we're not going home, Mr. Frodo. I think it's a one-way ticket. And Frodo's like, Frodo has to like be nice as if he didn't figure that out forever ago. He's like, yeah. oh, wow, yeah. It's, it's, it's who, hope. Who would have guessed? <laughs> who would have guessed except for me, like, as soon as we left the show? It's, it's hope, Tony. Uh, yes. You know, that keeps I, you going. The rest of the fellowship arrives at Isengard. Mm. For a scene that's. Not in the book. By the way. It's in Two Towers. Yeah, that's the funny thing. Yeah. I think we mentioned in the last episode, because mm -hmm. I think when we did the last episode, I hadn't finished the Two Towers yet. Yeah. I was, like, nearing the end. But, yeah, like, the beginning and ending of Two Towers was, like, squeezed into the ending of Fellowship at the beginning of this. Yeah. Like, man. So it's not the first time. Yeah. Like, that know? book is pretty loaded. But, like, this scene is in the book of, like, you know, Merry and Pippin, like, they're taking over Isengard and stuff. What we're about to see. I love I love this part too because they're yeah. just kicking it. They're yeah. fucking, they're, they're smoking pipes. They're and they're, they're, you gotta try the salted pork. And we get to see Treebeard, which is nice because like, we don't get to see him again after this. <laughs> He's like, this is my home now. Yeah. So the I fellowship the fellowship shows up and they're like, well, everyone's dead. Cool. There's trees, I guess. I didn't know that was the thing. Um, Wait, they talk? <laughs> yeah. Now, in one version of the movie, Treebeard goes, what are we going to do with that wizard? And Gandalf goes, he's fine. Just leave him there. Nothing will happen. Oh, look, a shiny ball, which was in the tower, is now in the water for no reason. How'd that get there? Yeah, let's pick it up and go. And as he's leaving, he points to the tower. He goes, don't you go scouring any shires now. And he leaves. <laughs> and then everyone watching the movie goes, huh, 
That's feels weird. feels like a weird loose thread there. They're just leaving. We don't even get a shot of him in the tower, looking all grumpy. Like, what the f what the fuck is this? And there, Saruman must remain under your guard, Treebeard. I thought it was weird too. Well, I didn't watch that version. Yeah, I'm just saying at the time. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember because yeah. there are some stuff in the theatrical that I actually like. Okay. But yes, this I back then I'm like. Uh, that's a real lazy way to wrap that up. Also, like, he was such a big villain. Yeah. And it's that... just like, whoop, see ya. Yeah, he, that's, imagine, like, Return of the Jedi. <laughs> like, the Emperor shows up, and he's talking to, like, the generals and stuff. And then he just never and shows up And then Luke's again. like, where's Vader? And they're like, he's on his ship, angry. And they're like, that's where, where he'll remain. Let's go fight the Emperor. Like, wait, that was, like, the guy. What the? Do we get an ending? That's how this version feels. Yeah. Now, I get it they were in a weird spot because they decided early on in the 90s when they were writing this, they weren't doing the scouring of the Shire. So they had to figure out a way to write uh, uh, Saruman out. I feel like that's a lot, right? To do yeah. the scouring of the Shire? It makes sense in the book. I could see how for the movie, um, yeah, but like it feels like it's just another in a movie that gets criticized for having too many, many endings. endings yeah. It would just be another. You're like you're in a movie where you only have like, well, this had like three something hours. Like, yeah, after the fifth battle, you're like, okay, let's right. wrap this right. up. We don't need another. <laughs> and like, by the way, the bat the battles get like really cool. And after reading the scour of the shot, the scouring of the Shire, I'm like, oh, that's kind of a lame. <laughs> It was kind of a lame final battle. I'm glad they cut that out. <laughs> Although some people argue it's the most important chapter in the book for like reasons that something the to liberation do with the... of the hobbits and things like that, and how it related to like what it was going on during post war Europe sure. or England, which apparently Tolkien denied, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, in the extended cut, Gandalf is trying to like talk to Saruman, and he's just like, "Hey, look, we'll spare you." You have a lot of information on Sauron. Just tell us what the deal is. Just tell us what the deal is. And so we can go like, kick his ass. Yeah, and he's <laughs> all like, no. <laughs> Me and Grima Wormtongue, we're going to hang yeah. out here. You're all going to die, <laughs> and I'm evil, and I look at my orb. I'm pondering my orb. Oh, wait, I have an orb. There you I'm go. pondering my orb. What does it say? Shake it up. Do you remember that meme from like last year, the pondering the orb? No. There was a meme. Someone found a picture of a wizard looking at an orb, and people people just made so many memes. Like this is just me pondering my orb. But then it was revealed that that artwork came from a Lord of the Rings book. So it was literally oh Saruman pondering his orb. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he's like talking about uh, the the Palantir. I guess it is. Yeah. Yeah. So he's just like, "You guys suck. You're all gonna die." Blah blah blah. And then Worm Tongue. Is like I Theoden kind of like gets he, through he like the worm. He sways him because he's like he's like come down from there. You were a good man, of yeah. Rohan. Yeah, you were a good man. We'll spare you now, and obviously we'll execute you later. But because uh, yeah, yeah, we but let Brad's you like, hmm, actually. it's like we let you go the first time, yeah. and then you told him all our defenses and weaknesses. <laughs> so we're definitely gonna kill you. That was a fucking mistake. You don't yeah. do that again. Yeah. Uh, by the way, in the book, the amount of times they just let Saruman live, I'm like, well, one of you fuckers just shoot him in the head why do you keep letting him live they can't that's the whole that's the whole thing with this no, series though they because they like worm tongue kills him with a knife i know but they let saruman go they I let know. Gollum go they it's about sparing a life tony i'm sorry someone was very disappointed with what we just said yes space cat hi sweetheart hold on she has something to say space cat i saw that episode you did with the two dogs, the Homer Bound episode. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, uh, congratulations. No, don't say that to her. Oh, that was the replacement episode when we weren't able to do Return of the King. <laughs> that was the worst performing episode of last year. Space Cat, do you have anything to say for yourself? That'll do it. Okay, goodbye. So yeah, at this point, Worm Tongue is like, "I'm gonna stab you." Because I'm well, mad. Well, Saruman's like, shut up, Grima. You're, yeah. you're, you're, you're an idiot. Yeah. He's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not an idiot. Yeah. I just remembered I'm Chucky. And he pulls yeah. out a knife. And he's like, hi ho <laughs> <laughs> uh, And then, yeah, Saruman's like, I, I, I like that Legolas just shoots Worm Tongue. Uh, well, it's kind of one of those re knee, knee jerk reaction things. Because they yeah. need to get the information from yeah. Saruman. of like, oh, shit. Kind yeah. of shots. Well, the scouring of the Shire, like he does the same thing. He stabs, 
He stabs Saruman, who now goes by the name Sharky, which I think was what Al Capone wanted to be called by his friends. That's friend. my alias, Sharky. They li- literally, the Scalagher Shire, they go up and they're like, who are these ruffians taking over and making the hobbits all bad? And they're like, it's that new guy, Sharky. And then Sharky's like, I'm really Saruman. She? Like, okay. I'm Saruman, she? Yeah, and then literally the chapter before, Gandalf and Galadriel, they're just riding their horses like, oh, there's Saruman, a worm tongue. <laughs> And they're like, stop being bad. And they're like, we're going to be bad. And Gandalf's like, okay. It's like, Gandalf, fucking kill him. Kill him right now. <laughs> Those hobbits are wonderful creatures. He's like, oh, you know, you got to ask the king for forgiveness. And Saruman's like, no, no. I'm not doing that. <laughs> he, he, like, he clearly yeah. was going to let everyone die and yeah. conspired with the evil forces. He's he beyond is an redemption. enemy. Yeah. He's beyond redemption yeah. right now. Yeah. You know, getting back to Star Wars. Like... There was never going to be a happy ending for Darth Vader. No. He was always... Luke could be like, hey, he's good now, and he helped us. It's like, yeah, well, the rebels are still going to execute him also for all those true. crimes he participated. So it's, it's best he just dies with the, yeah. goes down with the ship, but yeah. I'm glad you patched it up with Dad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just, you could be like, guys, at the end, he felt really bad about it, and then we killed him. Yeah. <laughs> and then he was burned on a pyre. Yeah. But yeah, so like Wormtongue stabs for the same reason, I think uh, Saruman's being a dick. And then just the hobbits just sh- shoot them with arrows. And then it's like, that's how Saruman died. <laughs> Got stabbed and I shot. don't think the ultimate would have been like Tree Beard, just like smushing that's Saruman between if his hands. If they weren't going to do it, I would have had him die in the battle of the previous yeah, film. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because here, although they figured out a brutal way to kill Dude, him, in he the- falls off. And then just gets fucking impaled on that wheel. I forgot how brutal Return of the King is. Yeah. And you just see Christopher Lee fall off the, the yeah. Tower of Isengard, like all the way down. It never cuts away. And he just yeah. smacks right on that spiked water wheel. And he hits it so hard that his legs get glued to the wheel. Because when he's upside down, the legs don't just like fall over his Dude, head. He is impaled. <laughs> Maybe he's just real stiff. He's got instant rigor mortis. <laughs> And then he goes in the water, his orb falls out, and that's when Gandalf grabs. And so, like, when I first, like, watched that scene, I'm like, wow, they cut a lot there. But Appar- it's so cool. Apparently, Peter Jackson was like, he felt like it slowed the movie down. It was obvious that they were just trying to wrap up a loose end, and he just wanted to keep it moving. Well, he's one of the big bads. Yeah, this is kind of like, like... Imperative. Look, you know, uh, you could have cut out some... Um, Eowyn, Aragorn, yeah. love triangle you stuff. Because we shit knew out. he wasn't going to end up with her. But the inklings that we did get were enough, in my opinion. And then he learned nothing from this because then he puts fucking, uh, what's his face? The dragon. What's the dragon's name? Smaug. Not Smaug. Just getting killed before the title screen in the third Hobbit movie. It's like, wow. I thought you were against this kind of thing, but I guess we're on board for it now. I don't know. Well, the- nobody was going to go see the third movie <laughs> if it didn't have the dragon in it. Shouldn't have been three movies. No, it if he asked have been. me, no, two would have been sufficient. I was real. Ge- I was more generous than I should have been in those two movies, and they really fucked me on the third. The third, the third is bad. I've literally only seen it like twice. I've seen it one time, and that was in the theater. Yeah, and I, I've I never watched it again. I've watched like the first two a couple times when they were like coming out. I'm I like, like the first fun. two yeah, movies. Too long, fun. but they're fun. And no. then that that third one, I'm like, this is not even a movie. I'm, no. out. I'm out. <laughs> if you want some more rings, I think they're fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, now we have that wonderful Amazon show. Didn't watch that. Sure and didn't. that Gollum game. I didn't. Oh, I saw that, but I didn't play. Did you play it? No, they released it unfinished, oh, and it was no. glitchy and buggy. But uh, yeah, that's the, that's the last we see of poor Treebeard. He only gets like one scene. He's like, "Hey, I'm here now. I'm yeah. taking over," and then that's it. Yeah. See ya. In the book, they like go home. They're like, "Hi, Treebeard." Yeah. Like, hey. <laughs> and then they're like, "Where's Saruman?" He's like, "Oh, I let him go." I didn't think he was a problem, and right away they should have been like, well, we're going to kill you, Treebeard, you dumb idiot. Uh- <laughs> remember, that, remember when he, like, took out your whole forest and, yeah. you know, destroyed everything and became a real dickhead? The Gandalf does a thing where he's just like, he must have used some cunning language and spells on you, and Treebeard's like, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> he sure did. When someone makes an excuse for you that you didn't think of, you're like, yep, that's how it <laughs> happened, I think. <laughs> Everybody's an asshole um, in this. I mean, like they want to see they want to see the best parts of everybody and be like, you used yeah. to be good, and it's like, were you ever really good? <laughs> I don't think so. So they all celebrate and they're drinking with Carl Urban. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they sure are. <laughs> and uh, let me see here. Legolas out drinks Gimli. 
Who's by like Kim, accident? Kim Lee like fucking is obliterated. Yeah, and like Legolas actually gets a little drunk. He's, He's like, like, I, I feel like a feel yeah. tingling in my fingers. I think it's affecting me. Kim Lee's like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll drink you under the table, elf. <laughs> And then Eowyn is still simping for Aragorn. It's like, lady, get over it. Get over it, lady. He's a, he's a very handsome man of the North. We we know this. See, in this universe, that book, he's just not that into you, doesn't exist. <laughs> I've actually never read the book, nor have I seen the movie, but... <laughs> so, I know it's nice and everything, and they kind of join, uh, mm. you know, uh, Rohan and, and um, uh, Minas Tirith. Yeah. With the marriage, but like she was just like, yeah, I guess I'll take Faramir. Or, <laughs> that, or okay, yeah, yeah. I do want to get up to that. <laughs> no, 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 I know I'm that. just saying. Yeah, because no, yeah. yeah. that also is what happens in the book. Yeah, so yeah. It's yeah. Like, all right. Even Tolkien's like, oh, I feel bad for the poor girl. Let's give there her someone. Go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Smeagol is having a uh, mental breakdown, and he's being real loud about it. See, if you have a mental breakdown, and you talk about killing the people that you're with. Go more than 10 feet away from them. <laughs> he has multiple personality disorder. And, yeah, and don't scream. Like, like, like right now, like, like, Joe, pretend to be sleeping. I'm going to really kill Joe. No! Um, what? Mr. Oh, Frodo, what? he's what? planning. <laughs> Instead, Gollum's just like, I'm going to kill them. <laughs> yes. Ah! And then yes, Sam's she's like. She's in the tunnel. Sam's like, what did you say about killing us? He's like, nothing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's going to take them to Shelob. That was his plan at the end of the last one. Man, that's a cool scene. We'll get to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's going to have her do the dirty work. Because uh, he assumes she knows nothing about rings. But I played that video game where she's actually a sexy lady who knows a lot about rings. Oh, no. See, that's what, that's how they get you. <laughs> that's how they get you. Yeah. They pretend to... Like, I've, it's that's, like, that's, that's it's like that spider lady from Spookies. Look, look, I'm on the, the dating apps, and I'm always swiping left, because I'm like, I'm, that's a spider. That's a spider. Or Yeah, or like Wicked City. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. All anytime sudden, I see like gonna, a yeah. cute girl, and she matches with me, I'm like, that's a spider if I ever saw one unmatch. <laughs> She's gonna You're grow. not getting me, giant spiders. <laughs> Wouldn't be the worst way to go. I forget the... I played that whole game, and I enjoyed it. I can't remember why she was a sexy lady. Uh, Same and reason was, they made... She uh, was dating Sauron, or Sauron was like pretending to date her when he was in a cell form. <laughs> Sauron's there's, like, got that spider There's like king. flashbacks of her being a sexy lady, and him... In his elf form. But then I, like, Googled it, and it's like, she's always been a spider? I'm she's like, always been a spider. She was, she's like the spawn of the, uh, she's part of the spawn from uh, that big giant spider that Morgoth rode. Okay. That sucked all the sim lights out of the Simrils, mm. or got, sucked the lights out of the trees. Well, maybe there's a spell where she turns, in, turns into a sexy it's lady. It's glamour. I guess so. Yeah, maybe. Glamour. It's, a, it's an illusion. <laughs> I a 30-foot spider is able to pretend it's like a 5-foot woman. I know people are going to watch this and get pissed off at me because I can't remember anything, <clears throat> but Minas, Minas Tirith is the city, but is that Gondor? Yeah, Minas Tirith is in Gondor. Okay, so I'm, I meant to say Rohan and Gondor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Minas Morgul is the one where the Nazgul are. Yes. In the video game, yes. you're in Minas Morgul before it becomes Minas Morgul, right, right, and it right. slowly turns into yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, Frodo is like just looking for excuses. Like Frodo, you know, you, you don't even believe yourself. He's gonna, he's clearly gonna betray you guys. He is like on drugs because of the ring. So he's yeah. like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And then there's more will they won't they stuff with Aragorn and Eowyn. It's oh, like, I yeah. thought you were going to say there's more will they won't they with Sam and Frodo. <laughs> well, that's implied throughout the whole film. Um, it's so still, oh, just to your point though, real <clears throat> yeah. quick, like it's it's still that thing of like having faith in the mm. bad guy and yeah. like he still could be good. Yeah, because yeah. and also Gandalf said he might have a part to play by the end of it, and he kind of does. He kind of. Well, uh, we'll talk about it. For some reason, Pippin is just really obsessed with pondering that orb that feels a little weird is is there something in the book where he's drawn to it in a different way or like is there more exposition with that it's a long book and i binge it in a week oh, i yeah. can't remember that specific Cause, part it's just like like when that happens it's just like oh i'm curious i'm curious about yeah. the orb and i loved looking at it i forget the specifics of it now I can't remember. But yeah, he wants to look at the orb, and then there's that weird scene where Gandalf is sleeping with his eyes open. He's just a fucking fool of a took, man. It's just yeah. Gandalf like... I do, I, that would deter me enough if I <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, good. all right, fuck, I'm, I'm, I'm good. good. Uh, He's like major yeah, pain. He touches it, and of course Sauron's like, hello! 
<laughs> oh, I see you, little hobbit. Are you the one with he was the like, ring? Are you the one with my ring? Let me know. What's your name? So they're all freaking out. And he's like, ah. And then, and then Aragorn's just like, oh, what's this? And then the kid, the Sauron's like, oh, fuck, I know you too. I can't wait to kill you. Oh, shit. <laughs> they're like, ah. And they're all like sick and crazy. Uh, I do yeah. like Gandalf. Because they're like, did they ask you about uh, Frodo? And he like, did you tell him anything? Yeah. And he says no. And he's just like, he's a fool, but an honest fool. Yeah, yeah. He didn't tell him. <laughs> but uh, now, now they're after Pippin. Yes, but he luckily he said um, he saw Minas Tirith on fire. He saw a white tree on fire mm-hmm. in Minas Tirith. So they're like, okay, we now know that Sauron is making a move for Minas Tirith. Yeah. Uh, well, he has to. That's like the last big. Yeah, and now, like... It, Stronghold. The, the book, I mean, I think they say in the movie, but the book makes, like, several points to say, like, his, like, generals and stuff are like, we're moving our attack early. We didn't expect that Helm's Deep thing. No. They're like, yeah. oh, shit. Yeah. If they unite now, we're fucked. We're we gotta fucked. speed everything up. We yeah. gotta speed this up. So, yeah, that, that's what they basically say. Like, we have to attack now. He doesn't want us uniting. We gotta do this. Uh, and then King Theoden is hesitant to help Gondor because they weren't there when he was getting pegged. I if you remember believe, that joke from last episode. Yes, but I can't believe that Theoden is just like, fuck them. And it's like, we just went through this whole ordeal where, where, the, where, the, where the, elves, the Dark Lord is back. Yeah, and the elves came and helped you. Yeah. Like, you shouldn't... Put a, put your shit aside. You can, yeah. you can have your spat after yeah. uh, darkness doesn't engulf the land. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Gandalf plans to go to Minas Tirith with Pippin. Mm-hmm. He gives orders to Aragorn to go somewhere else, like a trail in the mountains. Uh, and Pippin is sad to part from Merry, because it's like, man, we've never been as... I, I do like Merry's like, I don't think we've ever been apart from each yeah. other before. This is new to us. Yeah, but they, they, I mean, I like how they both have their separate stories here. Yeah, yeah, I actually don't yeah. mind their stories. Yeah. Um, although I think in the book, Merry, like, it takes them a while to realize that Eowyn is that soldier. In this movie, they were like, no one's going to buy that. He just knows. Also, like... <laughs> That is so, like, what are you going to do, have him, like, realize it on the field? Yeah. It's so much, it makes so much more sense because they're Again, both not supposed to be there. Let me know if I'm misremembering the book because I was listening to the audio book while I was at the gym trying not to die. I might have misinterpreted or lost some details. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, what's that, a battle? Ah! I, mean, <laughs> I mean, I think that's a fine change, though, especially yeah. for a movie. And then we have Shadow Facts. I just love that quote, like, run, Shadow Facts. Show us the meaning, meaning of, of haste. haste. Yeah, that's a good one. It's like, does he have to be so fucking fancy? It's like, go and shout back. fucking white wizard, dude. <laughs> Take her by the safest road. A ship lies anchored in the Grey Havens. Arwen is heading to the Undying Lands, the, the Grey Havens, mm-hmm. um, with her homies. Uh, and then she sees a vision of, like, an older Aragorn. And their kid. And their kid wearing the necklace. What was yeah. that thing that she gave him? I don't know. The, the, the thing of the thing. The lily. <laughs> the lily? <laughs> I forget what it's called. It's not the light of a land. Uh, la. That's the no, thing no, that no, Sam that's has. That's the thing that Sam has. Yeah, he's, he's wearing the necklace. We're just gonna call it the necklace. We're gonna, yeah, the promise. We'll call it. Yes, uh, and she's like, "Wait a minute, I have to go yell at my dad." She like literally leaves, goes all the way back to Rivendell, and just uh, screams at her dad. She's like, "You didn't tell me. You, like, you can see like the future. You didn't tell me there was a son." Elrond's like, "Well, no shit. Then you really wouldn't have left." <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he says it's only a possible future and it's not looking too good. Yeah. So his mind, his future stuff is kind of like how it is in Dune, where they can only see yeah, possible cloudy. futures yeah, yeah, and yeah. they have to calculate yeah. the best one. Um, so yeah, she begs uh, that they reforge Isildur's sword. Which they should have done anyway because that. No. Elrond knew that that was the only way yeah. for them to win. Yeah. Anyway, because later we'll talk about it, but yeah. Uh, he's so butthurt that Isildur didn't, like, listen to him. What is with everybody in their they bullshit? They really hold grudges they really and hold then grudges. don't do anything. It's and like, they're, like, they're like, they're like, oh my god, the darkness is taking over the land. We're all gonna die. But that fucking guy fucked yeah. me over. It's like, hey, uh, Elrond, you could have threw him in the lava. You could have threw him in you the lava. You could have just big booted him. As much as you want to blame him, you could have. Only two of you were in there. We talked about this fellowship. No one would have questioned Mm-mm. it. They're like, hell, that fire killed him. This what, is Mordor and the foot right to <laughs> yeah. the chest, off into the into Mount Doom, and then that would have been it. <laughs> and then when he died, when he fell, his last words were, you could be the king of everything. And I went, yeah, whatever you say, bro. <laughs> he gave me the sword. Yeah, he gave it to me. <laughs> 
<laughs> the sword pieces. Um, so the sword was Narsil, and now it's Andoril. Andoril. I can't pronounce any of that shit. Andoril. Uh, but yeah, they like forge it and put it back together. Um, Gandalf arrives at Minas Tirith, and I like that he's like telling Pippin, he's like, don't mention Boromir. Don't mention Frodo. Actually, just shut up. Don't he's say like, anything. Just don't fucking say anything. <laughs> the, he's like, the steward of Gondor is a real asshole. And the last thing we need is him knowing that his son's dead. And then they go in, and it turns out he knows that his son's dead. And he's, then Pippin immediately folds, and he's like, he's like, I'll be your servant. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, I'll be serving for you in all your days. And Gandalf's just like, oh, my God, stop it. Get stop up. It. Get up. He, like, hits him. He's like, yeah, get, he's up. Like, get the fuck up. Shut up. What did you just do? And of course, he is played by John Noble. John Noble. I think that's his name. I John don't know. Noble. I don't know. It's something noble. I know it's something noble. Billy Noble. Sure. <laughs> uh, he's kind of the villain of this movie for a um, large section of it. Yeah. Yeah. Denethor is like, well, we got to see him in the last film, mm -hmm. but not in the theatrical cut. So for a lot of people, this was their introduction to the character. Mm -hmm. He's a fucking dick. He's a total dick. He's a dick. And now there's there's a reason in the novel why he is a dick. And I'll talk about it when we get to like okay. his eventual I mean, ending. I mean, it's pretty, it's just clear that he just is like totally um, He's like grief broken up. Yeah, yeah but, there, but there's an added element in the book that kind of yeah. further explains why he's like this. Well, he also kind of lashes out at them and he's like, I should be king. Yeah, he's yeah. like, I'm not. Yeah, that's his thing. So he doesn't like Gandalf. No. Uh, in the novel, they, I think they even say like he just like doesn't even bother with Gandalf. He hates uh, Gandalf. He hates his. He doesn't take any of his advice, and he doesn't want another king. No, and he if wants he's to like, remain in charge. Yeah, and if he's like he he's like Aragorn can go fuck himself. Like yeah. I don't, I'm not bowing to that yeah. guy. And I like that he has to sit in a little chair. He can't sit. in No, the king's, yeah, 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 yeah. The king's throne, which is like a bunch of stairs, which seems real inconvenient. I mean, when you're the king, I guess not. Oh when God. everything's all right, I guess in times of battle or a war. Like, what if you he's like there? sick? You think they just bring in a couch? He's like, I don't want to walk up this goddamn stairs. <laughs> yeah, like, when he's old. Down them. I don't know. When he's old, he's like, can you guys just pretend I'm at the top of the stairs? <laughs> you could put it there. Well, what you don't see in the back is a little elevator. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, outside, Gandalf is like telling Pippin like the backstory of the kings. He's like, the kings were great until they weren't. Uh, then they all kind of sucked. Sounds about right. It's like, yeah, then they all kind of died, and then this place started going to shit. It's kind of falling apart. Which but, is why we're probably getting, we're, we're, you know, yeah. the Dark Lord was able to muster his strength. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, Mordor's right there. Yeah. Hi! <laughs> it's just stone's throw. <laughs> you can look at it. And apparently Sauron is making as much smoke as possible to cover up the sun, even yeah. though these orcs aren't like previous ones that get hurt in the sun. Mm -hmm. It's still better if they're not in the sun. Uh, yeah. Like, they're- Bright th light is, they're like Mogwai, yeah. Yeah, like, well, previously, like, in The Hobbit and whatnot, mm -hmm. like, trolls and orcs and stuff, like, the sun burns them. Well, yeah. it turns the trolls into stone, stone and it burns them, but Sauron did, like, a spell to make it that that wasn't so, but still, he's like, I want my orcs to be super comfortable so they can fucking murder everyone. Peak. They need to be peak They orc. need to be peak. <laughs> I treat them like shit any other day, but for this battle, I want them nice and cozy. Mm, he still treats them like shit. He yeah. does still treat yeah. them like shit. Um, so yeah, I kind of like this moment uh, where Frodo has like a moment of doubt, and Sam tells him to man up, and then I like that they walk past that statue of like the, the decapitated king. It's like a big rock with teeth on his head. Yeah, but then they see the the head the 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 head of the statue has like flowers over, it, and they're mm. like, oh look, it was a good one. He has a crown. Yeah. <laughs> And it's like, wow, will the king return, perhaps? TM? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what this movie's called. By the way. Those ring lords. The king's returning, perhaps, TM. <laughs> yes. Well, somebody says the return of the king at one point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the movie version of what we're about to see in Minas Tirith really strengthens the relationship between Gandalf and Pippin. Because mm -hmm. in the novel, he ends up being friends with a guy named uh, Baragond. Like, not, like not, the kaiju? Not the kaiju. There's a D <laughs> and some E's. Yeah, he becomes like a friend with him. Uh, they decided to write him out of the movie and just strengthen. Because it's... it's It works totally better. Yeah, yeah. And the funny thing is, 
that guy, that character was still in the movie. He has like one line of dialogue and they decided it was too different. So then they slapped a different name on him. Is even, that the, though, even though his name is never said. Is that the guy who, uh, after Pippin lights the fucking beacon, he's like, oh, no, him? he's the guy. He has long hair. He comes in. He's like, perhaps Tony, Dennis- they all have long hair. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a Gondor guy. A, a and they all guy. have long hair. But he comes, he's the one who comes in. It's like, perhaps Denethor's vision of doom is true. Oh, that that's guy. Okay. Yeah. So they just wrote out the character. Because yeah. a lot of what we're about to see between Gandalf and Pippin is like this guy Baragon. But I think they were like, too many characters at the end. Let's just eliminate some of them. It's way better yeah, to it works be fine. The part of the fellowship. Especially anyway. with the movies. Like, you've already met these two people. We're still meeting new characters, but we don't need too many new characters. No, but our core characters that we've yeah. been through. All Again, this with. in a book, when you got plenty of time to tell the story, sure. fine. Movie, you got to condense yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, Gandalf uh, hypes up Sauron's main man, who was the Witch King. Man, yeah, that guy looks so the Witch King cool. of Angmar, dude. He is so fucking He's cool. So He's fucking my favorite cool. character in the whole. Very, thing. very disappointing ending, but very cool looking. I don't know, man. I really. I, that's like one of my favorite parts. Uh, but he's talking about, he's like, this guy is so awesome. He's, <laughs> he's the got one, all this cool shit. Yeah, and he's he, suiting up. No man can kill him. And then he's like, he's the one that stabbed Frodo. And Pippin should be like, didn't like a water horse knock him down? <laughs> and didn't Aragorn like throw a torch in his face? It's like, yeah, but that was before he got his helmet. Now he's going to be really cool. Well, now he's all geared up. He's in yes. that he's in that uh what the town of doom or what the town of ghosts or whatever. Minas Morgul. Minas Morgul. Minas Morgul yeah. What, there's that fucking cyclone that happens yeah, that, you see the yeah, sky. So I guess up. he's all charged up. Yeah, but he says no living man Super Wraith can kill him. Whoever made that fucking spell. <laughs> Nobody count. Uh, hey, Carl, we, Kurt, we, Carl Urban says many times that women don't belong on the battlefield. He really does. And he does. Um, so yeah, Frodo and Sam happen to be in Minas Morgul when yeah. like the orb, the sky laser shoots up. I don't yeah. know what that's supposed to be, and all the orcs leave. I think, and I think he comes out on his like beast. on his fell beast. Yes. Oh my god, it's so fucking cool, man. And I like that it like screams and hurts the ah, ears. They're like yeah. ah, but that's actually that's not the the fell beast. That's the Witch King screeching. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is. Mm-hmm. I thought it was like the film. I was. <laughs> it was late last night, so yeah. I was watching with subs on. Yeah. And it said like, Witch King screaming. Oh. Yeah. But then it specifically said Fell Beast doing stuff. Ah. Oh. Yeah. They. Well, they... they're in the in the even in the first movie they they got the screech. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Uh, but I do like this moment because like the ring knows how close it is. Yeah. And it's like trying hey. to get. <laughs> Yeah, it's like trying to get Frodo to go into Minas Morgul, and yeah. they have to like pull him off. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the ring is like, "Fuck him right there, right there! How do I get this guy over there?" <laughs> it is funny how much it feels like a character, and it's just a fucking ring. Like, it's that's just, the greatest part it's about it. So not a character, but it it's feels ju- like it. What is. are you talking about? It's like the main character. I know. Yeah, it should have won Best Actor <laughs> that year. I think it got an Oscar. <laughs> The Ring and Lord of the Rings. Everyone was like, they snubbed Andy Serkis. Like, no, that ring got snubbed. That was the most convincing yeah. villain. <laughs> um, Pure corruption. Yeah. Uh, then, meanwhile, at that little, uh, was it Osgiliath? Uh, Faramir and his yeah. boys get blindsided by a bunch of orcs, and they're left led by Gothmog. What is this guy's deal? Is he, like, full of cancer? Yeah, so the movie, I think, makes you just think he's just, like, a pale-skinned orc who's just all fucked up. I think in the book, he was just, like... He's like a cat. He's like a general, but I don't... If I remember right, I don't think he shows up to, like, even after the Witch King dies. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think he might be, like, the next in command with the Witch King. But in here, it's just kind of like they're both just generals, and they're, like, the high-ranking generals. Right, right. And then there's a third guy that's even higher that we meet in this version of the movie, but not others. But we'll get to him. Yeah. But yeah, Gothmog is cool. He looks all weird and gross. Yeah, he's neat. He's Can't like move. a weird cat monster. People were saying, people were saying that they made him look like what you call it, Peter Jackson or someone said, oh, he made him look like Harvey Weinstein because we is hated that the him. guy? Is that the orc? That's what I think they said. But I'm like, I'm like, did you really? Or are you just saying that now to look good? Because that guy doesn't look like Harvey Weinstein. I think Sean was saying that to me. Yeah. And like, I had never heard that until he told me about that. Well, it's one of, well, they wouldn't have said it before like four years ago because yeah. they all wanted careers. <laughs> uh, but now they'll say. <laughs> yeah. Now he's behind bars. Yeah. Now that it doesn't matter, they'll go out and say it. Um, but yeah, I actually think Gothmog has like a bigger role here than in the book. Okay. Um, 
I mean, it's fine. I, I, and I, I his like voice him. is yeah. cool. And, and he's going to kill those yeah. peoples. I looked up his voice, and apparently he did a couple Power Ranger bad guys. Oh, did he really? Yeah, which I don't ones? know which ones. Oh, my I don't God. Know Pumpkin one. rapper? <laughs> I don't know which Maybe. version of Power Ranger. <laughs> Whatever was on at the air at the time, I guess. Uh, Pippin and Gandalf secretly light the warning fires. Secretly? <laughs> well. They're not supposed uh, to write this it. This is like one of my favorite scenes. It is too. a. I don't know it's what great. it is about this scene, but I really it's like, like fuck it. Yeah, like like the music so is like Howard Shore is like killing himself yeah. doing the music, <laughs> and we just see like the the montage of like all the signal fires yeah. going on to alert Rohan because it's like we gotta ask Rohan for help, and Denethor yeah. is like fuck you. <laughs> I don't know how good that signal fire above the clouds is doing. I've never seen that one. They're like, oh, like the signal. They're like, we got to wait till it clears up. I'm sure they'll see it soon. <laughs> they're above the, yeah, they're above Yeah, I'm the sure like the guy should have been like, should I have waited until the clouds left? What if this burns out? <laughs> uh, like, are these, are these people on shifts? Do they live there? Yeah, that's a good <laughs> question. <laughs> they got to go on. Oh, see you, Steve. I'm clocking in. They got to walk all the way down the mountain. What's your job? I live on top of that snowy mountain where there's no, like, food or anything. Just in case. <laughs> and I take shifts case. with another guy to make sure we look for fire. And then I get, like, every other Saturday well, off. Or well, I got to keep this fire lit to light that fire if it needs to happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have multiple fires I have to keep <laughs> What it's a lot of wood. He's got like a backpack full of wood. What if it's wood? raining? Oh. <laughs> That's a whole thing. I got to set up the tarp and put it over. Yeah. There are no tarps in Middle Earth. <laughs> um, wog skin. So yeah, Aragorn sees it. Mm. And he comes in. He's like, Gondor calls for aid. And then Theoden's like, no. And Rohan will answer. And I was yeah. like, yeah! yeah. It is a pretty good scene. Yeah. Though. Uh, Thaden, what a great king. Not a good boat captain, as we learned uh, in the Titanic, but a great king, but a great king. <laughs> uh, I like that Aragorn notices that Eowyn's about to pull a Mulan. Like, uh, he's, she's, like, getting on her horse, and he notices the sword, and she's like, eh, you didn't see that. He's like, I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. Was it, was it, I thought that was Pippin. No, it was Aragorn. Oh, he sees oh or it. Aragorn. Aragorn. I'm, I'm sorry, it. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Aragorn sees the sword, but he doesn't, like, make a big deal yeah, yeah. out of it. Because she's like, oh, I'm just a lady, not going to do any fighting, but I have this sword here. It's just for emergencies. <laughs> yes, yes. Which I I don't think all the women should have. Oh, totally. I'm not saying send them out to the battlefield, but I feel like they should at least have like a knife in case something comes. Yeah, right. Instead of just crying with a, with yeah. a child. <laughs> um, then, we, then we ran. This scene is bizarre. We randomly hear King Theoden's inner monologue. So it is before the war. Of Minas Tirith, the doom of our time. He's all like, oh, something war. And it reminded me of the 80s Dune movie where we hear their inner monologues. Is that in the extended? Yeah. Did I miss this? Yeah, it's literally just for one scene when they're like getting ready to leave the city. Like he's looking around and we hear his inner monologue. I'm like, they, they've done that for some characters, but yeah. I think mostly the elves and shit. I'm like, why are we now getting an inner monologue from him? I don't know. That's a li- that is a little strange. Yeah, it is bizarre. I, again, when when they did it in Dune, they were doing it constantly. Well, it's weird to just have it randomly happen yeah. in the middle of your movie. <laughs> it's like, did we just hear that guy's inner monologue? I guess we Which did. Which is also fine, I guess. Faramir and his dudes continue to get like butt slammed by the orcs. Uh, but I do like that one part where he like runs in and they're like, get down! And they have like a million arrows. Yeah, yeah, and they kill yeah, they kill them all. Yeah, well that's because then Asgore will show up. Well. And they yeah. like just fucking Start grabbing fucking shit. dudes and dropping them. Yeah, and Faramir's like, we have to retreat. We There's no way. Out. Yeah. And then Gothmog is like, uh, the age of men is over. The time of the orc has come. Yeah. Like, kills a dude. <laughs> I like uh, Gandalf blinding the Nazgul's that's, beast. That's yeah. like the only way to do that, right? Yeah. And by the way, it came out before the game, but that scene of him running with the thing reminds me of uh, Shadow of the Colossus where you have to put your sword yeah. up in the air. Yeah. Love that game. That's so good. Uh, I got to revisit that one. Yeah, it's good. The, the, the last PS4 version was really good. Where that's they the remastered one I mastered it. Yeah, yeah. That's the yeah. one I'm talking about. Yeah. I still like the PS2 version, too. I pop that in once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. It's very relaxing. Ico's very good too. The first one, I never played that one. Ico's good. Ico's what, good. What is it? Legend of the Guardian. Last Guardian was or the last Guardian. The last Guardian was the newest one. That one was fine. It's, it's just, tough, man. It's tough. I beat it. It was just it was a letdown compared to the last two. Sure. I mean, it's hard to 
compete with like arguably one of the best video games ever made, according to a lot of people. It's like an art piece, man. So it's like, why wasn't that one as good as the other one? It's like, well, that one just happened to be like the best ever. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> They're and, still both really good games. And by the way, uh, this is just what I read: video games for children. I have no. Oh, that's right, opinions. that's right, that's right. That's yeah. right. Uh, <laughs> Almost forgot that. Yeah. Here it is. Eralas talks about Denethor predicting doom. That would have been the guy from the book. Okay, that's his um, name. Faramir uh, updates Gandalf on Frodo because he's like, you have, you've seen more than one Hobbit, and Faramir's like, well, I don't see them every day. Yeah, but yeah. I uh, sure did. Yeah, he's like, yep, yeah, he's still alive. <laughs> and they're like, cool. Hope is uh, did did he get there? He's like, oh, I don't know. Let him go. <laughs> How would they know? Yeah. They're like, we haven't heard from Frodo, and it's like, D- is there a messenger pigeon? Why don't you send the fucking moth <laughs> to go look for him and talk to him? Uh, then Denethor yells at Faramir for not bringing back the ring, and it's just like, Dad, it was not gonna. We could up. put it in the vault and only use it if we really have. Yeah, to. yeah you sure. would have slipped it right on. Sure, <laughs> you would have looked for the first excuse to use it. But he even tells him he's like he's like yeah Barmir like yeah. was tempted, but he would have took it for himself and all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then Denethor hallucinates Barmir, and then this is an awkward green screen. Like he's just like, yeah. Sean Bean's like, hey, hey, Dad. He's like my son. Everyone should be like, what? Man, what are you looking at it's so horrible. <laughs> So yeah, Smeagol uh, almost makes a r- move for the ring, but Sam catches him. Oh, when they're climbing the yeah, stairs. Yeah, and he's like, I just wanted to help Frodo up. Why are you so mean to me? It's like, I saw you. You were going to go for it. Stupid fat hobbit. Stupid fat hobbit. <laughs> um, Smeagol, uh, he's doing a bit of a worm tongue himself. He's getting in Frodo's ear. Oh, oh yeah, he's a manipulating little piece of shit. Yeah, he's trying to gaslight him. He's yeah. like... Yeah, He's going to ask for the ring. I'm telling you. He wants the ring. I know because I also want... I mean... A guy told me. (laughs) Even though you've known him your entire life. (laughs) You should trust me. And me, I'm known... I'm known to be a little piece of shit. let's just do the whole episode in the call. No, I can't. I I, I will slip out and in. (laughs) They take a nap on the cliffs of Sirithungal. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Frodo or Sam is like literally Frodo is like literally on yeah, the cliff. I and I'm just like, man, you you roll over and you're sleeping. You're, I know you're dead. You're, you're dead at that point. You're done. Uh, oh, by the way, I like we uh, we see the Witch King talking to someone, and he's like, "You're gonna do this and do that." They're like, "What about the wizard?" And then he does his best Bane. He's like, "I will break him." <laughs> He was the I'm the wizard's reckoning. <laughs> well, I will break him. <laughs> I don't know why that, that was a little bit of Kermit. Yeah. I'm, I'll break him. Oh my god, I used to do a great bane. Now I like I lost it. I will break him. There you go, Tony. Fuck, what's a bane quota? I was born in the <laughs> There it is. I found it. I found it. I, I found was it. born in Minus <laughs> I mean, you came back to die with your sister. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the witch king goes, "I will break them," <laughs> <laughs> or or he's doing his best, uh, Dolph Lundgren. I will break you. <laughs> I will break you. <laughs> um. So yeah, Pippin becomes a slave to Denethor. Denethor's happy about it. Yeah, uh, eh, he's a servant, but it he's feels doing like a something slave. to that poor little hobbit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then Denethor starts to have his tasty lunch. Which people hate. It's it's like, man, if this if this kind of thing bothers you, it's like the worst kind. He's eating that little tomato. And I all totally over his... forgot to get cherry tomatoes oh. today. <laughs> so you guys are fucking lucky <laughs> that I did not get cherry tomatoes and just wolf those things down. <laughs> but this is when Sing he tells song, Master Faramir Hobbit. where he's like, Yeah, you know, we shouldn't give up Oz Gilead. He should go back there. And he's like, What the f what are you talking about? He's like, it's overrun. It's like, nah. You should go out there. You, told, you can do it. Yeah. Boromir uh, would have done it. Yeah. So then he has the line where he goes, well, if I return, I hope you think better of me. And he goes, that will depend on the matter of your return. So. And not only <laughs> that, he o- he also says like, oh, yeah, I know you wish it was me instead of Boromir. And he's like, yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> so my senior thesis film, Getting on the Slide. <laughs> Is it about Faramir and Boromir? No, oh. but uh, the main, the, the one of the main characters. So it's about two brothers. Uh-huh. And the older brother is like this great guy everyone loves, and he's a promising sculpture. Sculptor. Okay. Uh, but then, like, he's racing his razor scooter against a car. 
It, it makes sense when you watch it. Okay. Uh, and he gets his arm cut off, and he lo- loses his will to live, and his brother's trying to avenge him. But we based a lot of his bitterness and anger on Denethor. Like, when me and my friend were writing the script. Does he eat a cherry tomato? No, but okay. he does. his brother does go. He's like, I hope you think better of me when I return. <laughs> and we literally have him go. That will depend on the manner of your return. <laughs> like, literally, as we were writing the script, me and my friend Keith were like, we just kept talking about Lord of the Rings. Like, we should just make this guy basically <laughs> Denethor. <laughs> just give him. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. He's not the bad guy. No. He's just bitter and angry. But we're like, I want him to be. And it turns out that actor was really into Lord of the Rings. So it was like a perfect story. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> so wait, so the bad guy. So, so the, they want revenge on the guy in the car that hit him? Yeah. Okay. He's going to challenge. His younger brother is going to challenge him to a scooter versus Dodge Challenger race. Oh. I'm sure that turns out well. Look, you know, I was in my 20s. It was funny at the time. Anyway, <laughs> made sense at the moment. It's all right. I got I got a bunch of stuff like that for my teens. <laughs> so then this is where Spiegel tosses the bread while they're sleeping. Oh, yeah. The Lambus bread goes right yeah, over the Yeah, and edge. then he plants the evidence on Sam like a dirty cop. He's just Crumbs planting. on his jacket. <laughs> he literally is like, what's this? <laughs> Look, it was him. Yeah, but the the, link, the thing that really turns the tie for him is when uh, Sam is like, why don't I carry the ring for a little bit? And Frodo's share like, yeah, the share the load. Which led to that. They will share some kind of load later. Which led to, which led to that <laughs> meme I sent you the other day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I was I was scrolling through Facebook. Like I, I looked on Facebook while I was watching the movie, and that meme popped up as I was watching that <laughs> scene. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> and I'm like, the, well, I kind of said this to Joe. <laughs> the busted nuts, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, Frodo breaks up with Sam. He's like, get out. I don't ever want to see you. You're trying to take my ring. Go back to the Shire, Sam. Yeah. I'm trusting the monster. <laughs> I'm trusting this guy who it's disgusting. up until like, a few days ago tried to murder me and not <laughs> my friend. Who's totally not plotting to steal this from me at some point. <laughs> Uh, and then this scene's sad because the soldiers are leaving Minas Tirith and everyone's giving them roses because everyone knows they're going, they're going to, die. to die. Why are these guys so afraid of, like, throwing a coup, a coup d'etat? I don't know. I would, I would have. I, right? Like, fuck I would have. Mu- well, mutiny's on a boat. I would have coup d'etat as soon as I could. Akuna matata yeah. I would have coup matata <laughs> as soon as I could. But, like, when, to, to add, like, insult to injury. Yeah. Uh, Pippin is now singing over. Oh this. yeah, Denethor's there's like, can you sing me a happy song? He's like, I only know a sad, the saddest song ever, but I'll <laughs> sing it. <laughs> well, he picked that song on purpose. <laughs> yeah. It's like this uh, one's for you, Faramir. Yeah, and then Denethor's just, you know, he's just continue eating those nice tomatoes. I'm playing the clip right now. Play it again, Joe. I'm gonna play a third. Time. Do it again. Everyone dies. Not everyone. Not everyone, but pretty yeah, much yeah, everyone but dies. Everybody mostly dies. The battle goes as well as you'd expect uh, yeah, it to go. Yeah, all the goblins and orcs just, like, shoot, just <laughs> rain, let it rain on them. Uh, Aragorn and Theoden are upset by the turnout of soldiers. Mm. They're like, man, this is less than half of what I wanted. And then we learn There's about- There's, like, 6,000 men. Yeah. We learn about this evil mountain, and then Aragorn sees a glimpse of the undead king, who I guess just goes for strolls when he wants. You know, that's uh, the, that's the limits of where his he, yeah. he can be. He just sits in that little thing going. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone he he heard the noise like I'm gonna go sit there and go. Eh. I'm gonna go spook somebody. And then Aragorn looks at him and he's like, Ah, and I, who, what was that? <laughs> <gonna hide. laughs> but they talk about this evil mountain. People go in there and they don't come out. They don't come out, no. And right away I'd be like, Let's leave the enemy in there. Let's be like, hey, orcs, they're we're all idiots. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They probably know. <sighs> they're not complete idiots anyway. You know, if we're factoring in the Hobbit prequels. Why did no one try to recruit those two giant mountains that punch each other? Oh. Like, hey, I, mountains. No, no, they're like the eagles, right? They like, they're like, you know. Mm, I guess so. They're neutral. I guess so. Even though it's their realm, too. And they're like, eh, fuck it. Only when it's convenient. I would have tried to recruit those two giant mountains <laughs> punching each other. Because that was the thing. Like, they just walk and they fall on top of At Mordor. least in the movie version, they're saying that, like, whoever Sauron is might want that dragon Smaug for him. Yeah. Ugh, I don't yeah. think Smaug would have worked with anyone, even though technically didn't um, Sauron make the dragons? That I don't know. I'm almost positive. Maybe Morgoth did? I'd have to Google it. But but Smaug is, like, the spawn of yeah. those or something. Something like that. Yeah. But, yeah. 
Uh, I would just got those mountains. Yeah, could have. Um, Mary suits up for battle, and uh, Eowyn is still mad uh, that she can't fight. Yeah, he's got his cute little outfit on. Yeah, they make she fun made of it him. Special for him. I do like Carl. Carl Urban is just like, look, <laughs> I don't doubt his heart, just the length of his Bizarre. arm. <laughs> Uh, well, this he fucks is... up. The hobbits whoop ass in this. Like, yeah. they are like cutting down. Yeah, they, they've, like crazy. They, they've definitely evolved yeah. uh, since the first film. They got those little balls on them, dude. They're going. <laughs> and then Elrond shows up. It's talking to Aragorn. What? No, I'm just. Yeah, he's I just... think it's funny. He's just like, uh, well, he I, guess, with... I guess you're my son in law now or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he shows up uh, and he's just like, Arwen is dying. This I don't understand. And, and is she dying from heartache? I guess he says like the light is leaving her. He's she, like he's like now she's one with the ring. Well, she chooses a mortal life, and I don't know what she's doing. An immortal life or a mortal a mortal life? life. A mortal she life. But chooses can, a mortal yeah, but life. You can't do that when you're an elf. Is there like a magic spell that makes you mortal? Probably. There's a magic spell. I for guess everything. so. Again, there's a magic spell to say no living man can kill me, and no one around at the time said you might want to change one word. But it's dark magic. <laughs> But whatever she did, she's choosing to be more. Although, I feel like Elrond is just like, well, technically, we're all dying if we lose. It's like, okay, dude, can you just be a little bit more upfront? Um, but yeah, he's telling him, it's like, hey, there's an army that will attack from the river. You don't have enough men. There's an undead ghost army in those mountains. If you use this sword, you're going to tap into yeah, the fucking... This is when he goes, like, they all answer no, and he goes, I'll oh, answer to the king! Yeah. And he shows his sword. The return of the king! Yes! <laughs> it is pretty badass. Though. It's pretty it's, cool it's, when he whips awesome. that thing out. Yeah. Um, don't clip me saying it's pretty cool when he whips that thing out. Don't <laughs> clip that out of context. Well, now, there it goes. <laughs> Enjoy. I did something recently where I said that. I'm like, oh, that's going to bite me. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me while I whip this out. Again, Eowyn tries to simp for Aragorn. He, she gets shot down. But Thaden basically tells her, like, I want you to be in charge when I'm, like, away yeah. or whatever. Because you're definitely going to stand back with all these people. Right, Eowyn? Sure. She's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, then we my learn heart belongs to another. <laughs> then we learn about the mountain men. Mm -hmm. The undead army. They were men that agreed to help Isildur or Isildur uh, in the last age. And they retreated. Yeah, and when the time came, they're like, we ain't doing that. Deserters. Let's just go in the mountains. Fuck them. Build like a <laughs> cool cave, like a cool <laughs> fort in the mountains. Again. Then they all died. Yeah, and then they all died because uh, Isildur like, put a spell on them. He was just like, he cursed them. Yeah. And it's like, they will not rest until they serve the king. So they're just in there just killing people who just happen to be walking by. There are is quite a few ghosts. Yes. And there's quite a few skulls. That's yeah. a lot. That's of, a lot of a skulls. A lot of skulls. Uh, which I have a uh, note about the skulls, too. The horses are afraid of the ghosts. Mm -hmm. But Aragorn says he ain't afraid of no ghosts. Bustin makes him feel good. No, Legolas says Bustin oh, makes gotcha. me feel good. <laughs> 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 Busted makes my elf parts feel good. <laughs> and then Gimli goes, <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. And then yeah, he's, uh, this is like a fucking Scooby Doo session with it, with Gimli. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't expecting like a spooky haunted house in it the is. third film of the <laughs> when they're like stepping on the skulls. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I feel like maybe that was added. Like that. I like the little smoke hands. Those are cool. Even though the first shot with Legolas it looks bad, but then the rest it looks cool. Yeah. But yeah, the scene of him stepping on the skulls, it's not that funny, and it goes on a little too long. It's okay. Thaden tells Mary to stay behind. There's a lot of cutting back and forth. It's a very complicated movie. He tells Mary to stay behind. He's like, no, you're not going in the battle. But then fucking Mulan picks him up. <laughs> right on the horse he goes. Yeah, and she's like, be quiet. You're going into battle with me. My lady. Yes. And then the orc army marches on Gondor. Mm. And uh, Aragorn and his boys continue to explore the spooky cave. Uh, and then they face off with the king of the dead. Now, Aragorn in this scene proves that he's... Like the next king, yeah. With the sword, what say you? Yes, yeah. All right, Join so he, me. He commands them to fight. Yeah. They they ignore him. He shows that his sword can counter them. Look, it says it right there. I'm the king. Return of the yeah. king. TM. It says it. <laughs> but I think in the if I remember right, the theatrical cut. I think it cuts with him going, "What say you? What say you?" And then it's a hard cut. Yeah. What say you? And then we don't see him again until. 
he shows up at that battle. I actually like that more. No, I don't. I like this more because it's basically like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they just like fade into the back. No, I like that it's like a little cliffhanger. Yeah. Cause then for like because then we don't see him for a while and it's like, well, did they did they listen to him? Did they say yes or no? Did they say yes? And it's like more of a surprise when he shows up. But yeah, this scene is weird where they're like, they laugh and they leave, and then they're like, now we're gonna throw a million skulls at you. We'll help if you can get out of this skull wave. Yeah. And then they that leave. is a lot of skulls, by the way. Yeah. Why didn't they just shoot these ghosts in a fucking Mordor and just kill them all? <laughs> like, I don't understand. Yeah, there's a, a whole thing with that. But yeah, they leave, they see the pirates, and they're like, well, we're fucked. And then the, the ghost comes out, and he's just like, we will fight. And then... I. You have my ghosts. You have my ghosts! <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty badass. Oh, we didn't mention it. Yeah. When... Uh, the king of the ghosts or whatever, he yeah. comes in with the sword to hit hit him and he yeah. blocks it yeah, with that the was sword. Awesome. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, and he fucking chokes him. But no, this is this is the one case where I kind of like how the theatrical cut handled that particular mm -hmm. scene with the, just the hard cut with the, what say you? Sure. Because now it's annoying because I've seen the theatrical cut more and I always expect the scene to cut there and then it just keeps going. I'm like, oh, right. It doesn't happen <laughs> in this one. I think um, it's fine. I like it. Faramir's horse drags him back to Minas Tirith. Man, that, that is a sad scene, right? That is a sad because the, scene. Because first, let's say first time you're watching this, you're yeah. like, oh shit, he's he's done. Yeah. But it turns out he's alive. Sorry. Even though Denethor's like, my son is dead. No, he's totally dead. And they're like, no, he's he's alive. He's going to be okay. Nope. No, nope, he's Throw he's him dead. on the fire. Dump You'll the be oil stone on dead him. in a minute. I feel happy. <laughs> Dong. <laughs> So they go, the, go for a that's walk. That's the second Mighty Python reference. <laughs> yeah. oh, I was going to do a what is your name? What did you have before? But I didn't do that. <laughs> what is the capital of Assyria? <laughs> um, uh, I don't know that. I watched that the other <laughs> night, too. I just It was one of those things I couldn't sleep, and I randomly put Monty Python in the whole That's one of my faves. Uh, I would like to see Spam a lot again. I've never seen that. I want to go. I saw it once, and I had shit seats. Oh, yeah. I had, I was so far on the side that I could peek behind mm. the stage and see them setting up. Oh, that's a bummer. Like, And there was a big chandelier, so I'm kind of like this the whole time. <laughs> it's how I think WrestleMania is going to be this year because I have oh. WrestleMania tickets and I got like nosebleeds. Mm. Well, at least you'll be there. At least I'll be there. You can but, watch it on your phone while you're there. Yeah, but I don't know if you know this about WrestleMania. They usually build like a big Titantron thing above the ring and I'm sure that won't block my view at all, no, Joe. No, you're going to be sitting there going... I'm sure I paid hundreds of dollars to watch a big TV inside a stadium. <laughs> or maybe it'll be great. I don't know. Uh, Could be. Oh, John Cleese is going to be at Monster Mania, by the way. Oh, he is? Yeah. Oh. There is a lot uh, For a minute, folks. I thought you said he was going to be at WrestleMania. Yeah, he's, he's wrestling like, in, in the Black Knight costume. I didn't costume. see him in the Royal Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> I move for no man. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm going to be at a wrestling event. Oh, you are in February the eighteenth. I think. Are you getting? Are you wrestling? No, no. I'm gonna. There's this indie promotion called New Fear City. Mm -hmm. I heard it was really good, but how could could it be if Kit Osborne is your champion? Oh, that's yeah. like a Joe Kressler. Yeah. He's the champ. I know he's been on the show. And I think had I fun met him talking once. about Jaws. Yeah, yeah, but I mean. Come on, that was like a participation award for him or something. So I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna make sure that show goes well. Are you gonna rally him? If he wins, I might. I might get in the ring and tell, give him a piece of my mind. Oh, I you, don't know. You think so? I don't know. I don't All know. right. You better be careful. <laughs> it's Kid Osborne. How hard can it be? I don't know. Wear your cup at least. Okay. Oh, I like that uh, Gothmog is like, hey, let's release the prisoners. <laughs> it's just severed heads. <laughs> that was, that that was, was pretty a, brutal that for was a PG-13 great scare film. tactic, yeah. yeah. There's some, I was saying, it was. it's pretty damn brutal. I do want to say there is some gore. There's a, although, there's like a, um, like a mound of dead orcs at some point in the film, and like there's one that's like the cheapest rubber mask I've ever seen. I'm like, ah, oh, I would have put someone in front of that one. There is one fighting before. Yes, with in a hammer. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And it's just a big stupid rubber mask. And I'm and like, because like, I remember seeing the behind the scenes. This is a scenes. background one. We just switched it out. <laughs> I remember seeing the behind the scenes where like we put the good ones in the front and the ones in the back. I'm like, how'd that guy get to the front? Put him in the back. Put Oops. him in the back. Probably couldn't see out of the fucking mask. He's where like, do I go? He looks like the fucking thing from Labyrinth, that guy. The. Who's the guy in Labyrinth? Which one? Hoggle? Ludo? 
The, the little guy? Yeah, the little guy. Voiced by Brian Henson? Yeah, remember they found his, they found the that's head Hoggle. of the animatronic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. He looks like that guy. If that guy. I, he looks worse than that. He looks like one of the background Nilbog trolls. <laughs> if, Goblins, excuse me. If, if the the effects team from Troll 2 did the effects for Labyrinth, that's what that guy would have looked like. <laughs> Don't you dare uh, by, by, talk bad about Brian Froud and the Henson Company. By the way, thank you for reviewing Troll 1. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Yeah, because not enough people talk about it. I, I love, realize that I, that's in my one of Troll my favorite movies of all time. Troll one is really good. It's I talk great. about it in Troll two. I'm like, I know Troll two is like the jokey one, but like, I feel bad because no one really watches the first one. I and it's a legit good film. I mean, two, like you said, like isn't even the worst film ever made, and I really like it. Yeah. But like, I, I feel like people watch that one like ironically. Yeah, no. Yeah. But Troll is such a good movie, man. Go back I, and watch I, Troll or watch Movie Dumpsters. Review yeah, Troll. you can listen to that one because that was audio. Oh, uh, okay, one. okay. Yeah. So yeah, the attack starts. And Denethor is just dun, dun, like, dun, but we don't get that music. We don't get that music. But yeah, they they start fighting, and then Denethor is looking at everything, and he goes, "Run away! <laughs> Run a- another mighty pipe. It's all gone to Run shit. Run away! <laughs> brave Denethor ran away. <laughs> brave, <laughs> oh, but I like, brave. I love that scene where he's like, flee, flee for your life. <laughs> Gandalf just punches him in the face, and his eyes got out in his nostrils, right? <laughs> Yeah, Gandalf beats the shit out of him in front oh, of everyone. It's so good. Why his men continue to listen to him after that, I don't know. Uh, the moment Gandalf punched I mean, him in the face, I would have been like, yeah, we're not taking orders. He's a orders. chump. Yeah, we're not taking <laughs> orders from that guy. Um, but yeah, then Gandalf's like, prepare for battle. <laughs> what are you doing? Get back to your post. Get back to your post. Beat this stupid idiot's We're going to fight these fuckers. We're going to take them down. And somehow the guards are still just about to let him light himself yeah. and his son on fire. <laughs> I do like the scene of them uh, catapulting that big thing, and Gothmog just skips. He or just, yeah, like he like moves over and like spits on. Yeah, it. he just does a jump to the left and spits on it. And if Johanna to the right, yeah. if Johanna was here and not locked in that tower, she would say, "Because I know, because I've watched this movie with her many times, that she loves the one troll that goes who." Huh? <laughs> it just cuts through a troll going. Huh? <laughs> there's like a there's like the only woman goblin or orc. What? Yeah. There's a woman orc in this? Dude, yeah. Like it's like it's the it's a Catman dude's like right hand person. Catman dude, Gothmog? Yeah, Gothmog. <laughs> I don't know, he looks like a cat. You tell me there's a woman orc. The movie's woke. Zero uh, stars uh-oh. and the episode. Oops. <laughs> okay. Oops. You're really going to hate the scene coming up. I have a lot to say. I love it. I think it's great. So yeah, then the uh, the what you call it? the Nazgul show up. They're tossing fuckers left and right again. Mm-hmm. And Gandalf does do staff to to a bunch of orcs, oh, yeah. and then Pippin like gets a killing. Yeah, well, he, like, he saves Gandalf. Yeah, he yeah. like straight up saves Gandalf. Gets a killing. Uh, the orcs just can't break down that door. It's a, it's too strong. So they pull out a giant battering ram full of fire called the Wolf's Head. Bring in the Wolf's Head. To continue the movie, put in disc two. <laughs> continue the journey. <laughs> continue the journey, put in disc two. That's literally the stopping yeah. point. Yeah. I mean, there are fucking cave trolls banging yeah. on this thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who taught the trolls how to play drums? <laughs> to be fair, it's like, I mean, I don't know. Bum, bum, bum. You got to do the bum bums. You're the troll that bites them. You're the troll that moves the thing. You're the troll that like has to stab people. What do I do? Oh, you do the drums. You do the drums. Oh, okay. Boom. Okay. Boom. <laughs> you put disc two on, and then a bunch of obvious white dudes who are dressed like Mongols. I could see why maybe this was cut. Uh, they're like uh, taunting Aragorn. They're like, ha, we're not going to surrender you. We're cool pirates. <laughs> Look at this guy. What are you, crazy? What are you going to do? Get your ghost army on us? And it's like, oh, no, they have a ghost army. Actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, And then Frodo finally enters Shelob's cave. Yes. But he loses Ga- He lo- <laughs> I was going to say he loses Gandalf. He did lose Gandalf <laughs> a few movies oh, oh, ago. A while ago. But let's not dwell yeah. on that. He loses. Fly, you fools. Yeah. <laughs> he loses Smeagol. Um, he's like, where are you? I can't find anything. And then he finally uses light juice. Yeah, that yeah. really came in handy, didn't it? Yeah. 
I think the, the voiceover came in where it's like, let it be a light to you when all <laughs> other go out. He's like, okay. So while she love is attacking Frodo, Sam finds the bread mm-hmm. and he's like that fucking guy. I have the evidence. Now. <laughs> he walked all the way down there. Yeah. Found the bread. Then walks all the way back, climbs back up Seer Thungle. Yeah. And somehow Frodo's not already fucking <laughs> webbed and sucked dry. Well, Frodo, before he gets webbed up, he gets into a, like, a little scuffle with uh, Smeagol and mm-hmm. knocks him down like a chasm. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, well, that's clearly the end of him. Wink. <laughs> um, this little bastard lived in a cave yeah. for 100 years. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah. So this is where Galadriel comes in. I just want to say. It's great that in the last, like, five or six years, we got a video game and a show that tells us that Galadriel is, like, the most awesome, badass warrior ever. Totally doesn't make this Galadriel look like an asshole. I would have been fine with her just being, like, an all-powerful kind of, like, magic yeah. being. Isn't, that, she, isn't, isn't she one of... <sighs> I don't think she's the Maya. I don't think... I remember you mentioned not, that before. Not the Maya, but whatever Gandalf is, she's that. I don't think And she, somebody corrected me on the last one. Yeah, episode. I don't think she is. They're both, like, equally strong. They're yeah. both ring bearers. Yeah. They had rings. Right. Uh, but, yeah, it's just funny because you play that Shadow of War game, and then you watch the Amazon series. It's like... All right, I know the ring tempted her. She couldn't be around the ring. She could have went to Helm's Deep and took out like 10,000 or what the fuck, lady? It's not like you're getting up there in years. You live forever. We're not helping them. (laughs) I was tempted by the ring. It's like, okay. He's he's nowhere to be found. Leave the ring over there. Go kill some trolls. I watched the Amazon show. I remember very little of it, but you know, I watched it. Not a lot of people did. I sure didn't. What? People after ex- you, after I heard what you said, I'm like, I'm good. I, don't, I just don't. People, need it. I, I was almost like let down that it wasn't worse because I'm like, it was just kind of meh. I, I, I'm upset because I'm like, why wouldn't you just do the Cimmerillion stories? Like, why wouldn't you just do that? I don't know. Why wouldn't you, you could have? You, I've you, heard nothing about a season two, and that was the most expensive show of all time. Yeah, and yeah. like there was really cool stuff, like the whole yeah. practical intro and stuff like that. But like. The fact of the matter is, like, you could have just did the Cimmerillion in a TV show, and it would have been great. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Isn't Eowyn supposed to be hiding? She's just there with the helmet off talking to Pippin. Just in front of all the soldiers. I'm like, aren't you supposed to, like, hide that you're a lady there? I thought that scene was awkward. Mm, Is this after they started fighting? No, it's before they show up to the battle. They haven't shown up yet. Oh, okay. So it cuts to them. Like, she's talking to Pippin. I'm like, why is your helmet not on? They're probably, like, talking in secret. I don't remember that scene. There's people all around them. That's the weird thing. I don't know. Um, Isn't that your daughter over there? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. So here, Denethor is ready to kill himself and his son. He's taking the body to that... He's pouring the fucking yeah. oil on himself. He's not quite at the oil yet, yeah. but he's there moving the body there. Yeah. Um, and then there's a flower on the white tree. Because we were told that the tree hasn't bloomed, and maybe it'll bloom when a king's nearby. Now there's finally a flower. Mm. Um, but Pippin spies and sees him preparing to make the fire. He's like, oh, fuck, I gotta get Gandalf. Uh, and then the orcs break through the gate. And I like I like Gandalf looking terrified when that like troll thing comes <laughs> <Yes>. through. <laughs> uh, she loves sneaks around, very very quiet. I spider. love yeah for being nine thousand yeah. pounds. Yeah, for being a giant. It's I I love this whole scene where like it's like a low angle. Yeah, of Frodo walking and it's and up it's like top. creeping on the top and he's like looking around and the yeah even that POV of him like panning the whole cave and then that just big stinger just coming yeah. and just and I like him. how quiet it is. They did a couple things yeah. like that in uh, King Kong afterwards. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. that scene where she's on the side of the cliff and you don't realize the T Rex is there yeah. and it gets up. It's effective. We have a review for that King Kong Peter Jackson's Kong. Go check it out. Yeah, she stabs him. She stings him. Spiders have stingers, I guess. Uh, she stings him and starts like wrapping him up. It's but like then... a monster spider of Middle Earth. It yeah, can do yeah. whatever it wants. Uh, it's also like it's 20 feet big. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but <laughs> Sam comes in with the light and he like fights the spider. It's a pretty, pretty cool fight. It's a pretty cool fight. Let's be real here. Yeah. This thing would have fucked him up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, I want to say like it's always cr- it, it like does move like a spider when, um, when Frodo's like walking and you see her legs come out of that like yeah, cave, cool. like ah, yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. that. Or even when she goes back in later after she fight after Sam fights her. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. So Sam fights using the light. I'm like, get back, you filth! I'm like, 
I know it's a line from the book, but that's not a cool line. Uh, but what does he do? He eventually like stabs her. Stabs her in the uh, stomach, and that's what yeah. gets her. But he pokes her in the eye. With yeah, he pokes yeah. her in one in, of her eyes. Well, there's a few that are gone already. Yeah. So yeah. her other six. Yeah. <laughs> I like that she love has no allegiance to anyone. They talk about she eats orcs, anything that anything goes in that those goes caves. There. And Sau- uh, Sauron doesn't give a shit. Or Sa- yeah. Well, they used to date. I guess so, <laughs> and maybe they're her- maybe they're mom, her, her mom. I don't, no, I don't know if that's Sauron or Morgoth. I think it's Morgoth. I don't know. Look, in the video game, she was a lady. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! She was a lady. <laughs> Uh, but then Sam's like, oh, Frodo, you're dead. <laughs> I'm too late. Even though I'm going to secretly take the ring just in case you get I'm going to take this <laughs> ring. I'll finish it for you, I swear. And he's like, oh, orcs. And then he leaves. And the orcs are like, this guy's alive. And Sam's like, why do they take him? I guess because they're like, oh, we're looking for the hobbits. Yeah, they know they're, they're like, supposed to be. Because remember in the last him. film, the uruk were like, well, no, we got to look for two halflings. Yeah, we need yeah, to look yeah, for yeah, them. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, they're like, all right, let's take this guy. Let's get there. And Sam's like, ah, shit, I fucked up. If I was Sauron and I knew that that hobbit was that close to more, I'd be like, motherfucker, there's another one. Yeah. Where is he? There's another one. Where is he? Where is he right (laughs) now? He's got the ring, by the way. (laughs) Denethor, uh, is trying to... He's getting ready to kill himself. Pippin's yelling at him. I like that he throws him out and he goes, uh, I release you from your duty. Go Bye. die in any way you see fit. <laughs> Which is like a real mean thing to say. Because to him, it's over. What yeah. would have been really messed up is like, okay, little hobbit, now you have to burn with me and my son. <laughs> that would have been messed Strap up. Strap him to my back. But instead, the orcs break through the first level. Mm-hmm. Pippin lets Gandalf know about Faramir. Gandalf's fighting. He's like, what do you want? He's like, Faramir's going to get burned alive. Gandalf's like, ah. What? I better go do something about that. Since none of the other guards will. <laughs> They're just um, going to light him on fire. Denethor yeah. is like, okay, I'm ready. And the, there's like four of them around. Wait, wait, like, wait, wait. Oh. This, oh, on the way. Oh. This is when he meets the Witch King. Oh, okay, right. Yes. Uh, Which is the, just so badass. Yeah, the Witch King's like, I'm Fucking here. Lands with the fell beast. Yeah. And he's like, you stupid wizard. And then Gandalf's like, I'm going to get you with my staff. And the Witch King just annihilates the staff. The Witch King like, raises his sword, and like there's this fire that spins up yeah. around it, and Gandalf's staff just explodes into splinters. Yes. He would have and- whooped his ass. <laughs> and... And I'm like, wow, the Witch King is so cool. And then the army of Rohan show up mm-hmm. uh, to counter, to flank uh, the army. And the Witch King decides not to kill the wizard. I would have. I would have. Just con- killed the wizard. I would have continued that killing That was the Gandalf. strongest uh, I would have been player. like, oh, a- another army. They could wait. Well, since I'm here, let me kill the wizard first, and then I'll go there. I'm like, Witch King, what are you doing? <laughs> the horses, the horse lords come in. Uh, the CGI horses face planning makes me laugh so hard because uh, they fall so fast. Some of those are brutal. <laughs> Some of them are brutal. And I'm just like this. <laughs> you ever see those um, <laughs> those videos of like those wonky guys, the, the CGI like wonky yeah, guys? Yeah, That's like yeah. what it reminds me of. Because you can tell what the real horses are. Yeah. And you can tell the fake horses because they're like. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I like Gothmog looks terrified and he runs away. And I think in the theatrical cut, that's the last we ever see of him. Oh, really? Just him running away. It's kind of a letdown because you're like, oh, that guy oh, acted real tough. Man, when he gets it later, it's like so good. Yeah, now Gandalf's uh, and Pippin say Faramir. This is when he's mm-hmm. covered in oil yeah. and he's just ready to burn alive. <laughs> and like the guards are just like... Mm. Yeah, the guards are like, sure, okay, we sure. Okay. We'll, uh, here you go. In the book... Denethor kind of locks himself in after he's like thwarted after they save Faramir and everything. Yeah. Baragon is the one who actually help comes in and helps save him and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Uh, but in the book, he like he kind of does like the same thing. He's like, you're all gonna lose and you're all gonna die, and they just lock him in and listen to him die. But it's revealed that he had a Palantir, an orb. So the reason oh. he's crazy, Sauron was, sa- yeah, Sauron wasn't able to turn him like Saruman. But, but he in- was influencing. Instead, Sauron was just basically showing him, like, dark visions of the future. of Minas- Basically, because he was already grief-stricken about his wife and whatnot. So he's been using the orb. So uh, in Two Towers, mm-hmm. when they, like, flash back to that battle, apparently Denethor, like, used the orb to counter Sauron. So. Oh. How did he get one? I, well, well, Gandalf says that they don't—they're not all accounted for. You know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
Uh, so yeah, it's revealed in the book that like he's kind of been looking into this, and Tom Sarah... Bombadil's got one. <laughs> <He's eating popcorn laughs> he doesn't know what shit. it is. He's just eating popcorn, watching everything. Uh, yeah, so he, so he wasn't like working for Sauron, but Sauron was just like using his grief and making him just feel hopeless okay. and whatnot. Yeah. So it is like an extra layer for why he is the way he is. Whereas in the movie, it's like he's just sad and crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like oh okay. I mean, it's it's conveyed well. Yeah. That's I'm, all insinuated. I'm not sure which version I like more, but but the thing is, the difference is the death. Like I said, they just lock him in there, and he screams, and he dies. This movie, even though we see the chamber that they're at is, like, further away from the Citadel, this movie, Denethor, on fire, runs, like, 200 yards. It's one hell of a and transition. And just jumps off. And the camera doesn't even give us DC to show us him land. They just keep panning back. And it's like they're showing the battle and he just yeah, smacks. That's the most extreme. I kind of love it, though. I mean, it's if, so dramatic. If you were on fire, wouldn't you want to jump off? So that'd be cool. I guess so. If you knew it was like the end. Like still burning as you're falling yeah, and yeah. screaming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> there's like there's like a reconciliation when he's on the pyre. Yeah. Because Pippin jumps up and like pushes uh, Faramir off. Mm. And he looks over and he's like, Faramir, my son? Well, Gandalf's like, your father loves you. He'll remember before the end. Yeah, and he'll be like, oh, I do, but I'm on fire. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. Now just, that I'm on fire, I think maybe my grief was making me make some bad decisions. You know, I should have thought this through. <laughs> now you're not thinking anything. <laughs> you're not thinking anything. You're on fire and splattered at the bottom of the spot. You probably smashed right into an orc and collided. <laughs> Uh, and I like while this is happening, Gandalf's like, and so passes Denethor. I'm like, Gandalf, he's not even dead yet. Can you wait like a second? <laughs> F, whatever. It's like Your a, dad's dead, whatever. It's like if I was on fire right now, and instead of helping me, you're like, and then so passes Tony from <laughs> Well, Hack then you run <laughs> off a cliff, and then there's <laughs> nothing I could do. <laughs> Joe, there was a fire extinguisher. I actually don't have a fire extinguisher down here. I should probably get one. But, it's not um, code. Oh, no, it's not But code. if there was... Yeah. <laughs> Then the question is, would you want to live your life out as a crispy husk? Or... Yes. You'd be like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> be like Freddy Krueger. Oh, no. Tony's coming for you in, his, in your dreams now. Or Dark Man. <laughs> oh, like that? Dark okay. Man. <laughs> then we'll wrap you up in bandages. Oh, that, you could be real life mummy cop. Spawn! Yeah. <laughs> you could be spawn! You, you know the power of hell. <laughs> well. You just burned. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That was pretty rough. Anyway. <laughs> um... <laughs> So, uh, everything's looking pretty good. Rohan's there now. They're defeating the army. I love the rally scene. Yeah. Uh, when Theoden's like smacking the the sword on all the the pikes. I forgot he does like a little speech. It's really cool. It gets overshadowed by a speech later. But yeah, Yeah. it's still pretty cool. But it's just it's just so awesome, and they just ride in and start fucking them up. And they're like, "Wow, these orcs suck. We got it. I sure hope a race of men with giant elephants don't. (laughs) Oh no, (laughs) elephant. A race of men with giant elephants. 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 Uh, yeah, like they're like blowing the horn and shit, and they're looking at them. They're like, "Oh, well, fuck, we didn't expect to fight those." Uh, to be fair, <laughs> the 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 horse lords ride right into those big elephants. Yeah, which I wouldn't have done because they have like between their tusks, they have like bought like giant barbs. Like they're like yeah. just mow, Swiping literally like right. ma- lawn mowers, yeah. just mowing down everyone. Yeah. Uh, I know everyone uh, talks about the Legolas scene we're about to see coming up. But fucking Carl Urban takes out two of them by killing one guy. I love that scene. Because yeah, Carl like, Urban just like, he's like, I'm going to take this spear and I'm just going to kill that guy. Mm, I got him. Right through the <laughs> chest. And he like careens into the other Yeah, elephant. yeah. It hits the other one and then they just collapse Pretty and fall. Sweet. They ro- the, the people of Rohan really fuck him up. Uh, yeah. Eowyn uh, takes out like two swords while Pippin's yeah. riding the horse. And yeah. She like cuts his legs. Uh, <laughs> those elephant riders. I would have I would have been the guy being like, hey, wait, how about I wear like armor, like a helmet? I probably shouldn't be tits out with nothing. They're over. They're overconfident. Because if I die, all the, OK, all right, never mind. <laughs> the elephant's not going to know what to do. <laughs> you know, we get our girl boss scene where she fights Gothmog. Yeah. She fights like Gothmog and then he kind of disappears. He's got like a crippled arm and leg. Yeah. Why can't <laughs> you just take him out? Um, And then while this is happening, Gandalf and Pippin are taking a minute. 
because they're like, wow, we just went through a lot. Uh, we just watched some guy light himself also, on fire. Also, that door's about to open while we're here. Let's talk about death and, like, the mystery of the afterworld. Uh, but, yeah, he's because just, like... Because they're, they're knocking on it, you know? Yeah, but he's just, like, um, he's like, oh, Pippin, death isn't that bad. And it's like, death isn't the end. See what? White sure. Maybe for you, wizard. <laughs> That's exactly what I read. You come back. <laughs> yeah, I wanted Sam to be like, or uh, Pippin to be like, yeah, maybe for you. <laughs> I'm not a fuck. I'm probably just going to die just and gonna see die nothing. And rot away <laughs> on this battlefield. That's nice for you. I, you're like an alien or something, yeah, I think. You died and mark. went to space and came back. You're like, made of magic <laughs> or yeah. something. Like, I'm a fucking, I don't know. I don't even know what I am, like an elf and a person. It's <laughs> stupid. Um... <laughs> I'm going to get my head cut off and die. <laughs> I drink and cook food. That's yeah. my plot in life. <laughs> There's not going to be Pippin the White, I guess. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, no. Mm. Regardless, it's a nice speech. Yeah. Uh, then the Witch King tosses Theoden. He, like, fucking picks up that horse and throws him. He smacks him across the battlefield, and yeah. his horse lands on top of him. Yeah, And just rough. smushes him. Uh, and then then Eowyn cuts uh, the, the, the fell beast. Fell beast, yeah. She cuts its head off. Which is pretty badass. How sharp is that sword? It better be damn sharp. I don't think she has the upper body strength to cut through bone and meat. I'm like, that should have been a really sharp sword. Maybe look, 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 I'm struggling to do deadlifts. <laughs> and I'm watching this tiny lady cut that thing off. And I'm like, Tony, I think this woman is a lot tougher than you are. <laughs> Literally, me <laughs> chopping smaller things of wood, I have a hard time. Because that wood is really tough. And I'm like, I don't know. That head comes off. You know, if there were like three or four hacks, I would have given it. She cuts it off right away. And I'm like, let's, wow. Let's it was get, a magic sword. Let's get a watermelon and stick a broom handle through it, and then we'll hit it with a broadsword and see if it cuts in half. I only have a katana. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, I have Sting. I've seen him before. <laughs> we can um, try it. <laughs> and then... They cut back and forth a lot. She's about to go one on one with the Witch King. He's like dropping his mace. And then they cut to the river. And the orcs are like, ah, oh, these pirates. <laughs> what they are you doing? Suck. <laughs> and then Aragorn shows up and like, what's this guy? He acts like he has a ghost army. He has a ghost army. They all it's come. Return of the King. So we're all the ghosts on the ship? They're hiding. Well, they I guess they can all like, I mean, they can it's all condense, right? They're just all hanging out on the ship. Yeah, just sitting I want to see. I want to. I want to see an extended cut of them just like driving with the ghost. Like, so how you doing? <laughs> this is gonna be great. <laughs> they're not gonna expect this. They're like, they're like, we can just run and meet you there. And it's like, we'll no, it's go. gonna be a surprise because that's fun. <laughs> um, then we get the fight between Eowyn and the Witch King. Mm -hmm. Pretty Gra cool. Grammar was his undoing. Well, whoever cast the spell. Yeah, whoever cast the spell. What the fuck? It's Sauron's fault. No man can kill me. It's like... <laughs> I am no man. <laughs> ah! Now, this seems like a scene that would be in a movie now. This is in the book. This is... I know Peter Jackson got rid of my favorite character in Fellowship and replaced him with Arwen. You know, that character whose name I remember because he was my favorite. Yeah. But no, this is actually from the book. This is kind of how it goes down. It's <laughs> I think it's great. I think it's really, I think it's Eowyn's really cool. like, I'm not a man. And I wanted the Witch King to be like, no, I meant men as like a, like it's a, a race. Pro. Yeah. <laughs> and before he can't get those words out because then she stabs him in the, <laughs> in the head. fucking head. But I don't think anybody's ever tried to stab him in the face, yeah. maybe? She gets help. Pippin stabs him in the leg. And, like, literally gets, like, stricken in the hand from, yeah. you know, the Morgul. No I don't know man what. can kill me. What about women? He's like, ha! Like, what, that'll happen. What about an elf? <laughs> what about an elf? Ah! Nah. Nah. Again, nobody's, <laughs> I don't think anybody had the balls to stab this guy in the face. <laughs> And she just... Well, Aragorn did, but he wasn't a man. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 Uh, but but yeah. this thing crumples in on yeah, himself. His, it's his awesome. His helmet, like, crushes in, like, the house and poltergeist. Yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> it just, like, he just in. implodes on the battlefield. <laughs> yeah, he literally is like... <laughs> and she's like, you know, she gets, like, the, the evil in her arm or whatever, yeah. poisoned. Um, it's yeah. like if you get stabbed by the blade. Yeah, yeah. Although it is kind of funny. It's one of those just like, what a bad ass. Like, they have that thing of, like, his beast is dying and the wings are going down. And he's coming up and then he just gets stabbed in the face. I love it. It's like it's like Bane in The Dark Knight Rises. I'm the coolest guy ever. Ah, girl shot me. <laughs> like, oh. 
And we liked that. Didn't see it coming. Yeah. Not we... so much Dark Knight Rises, but very much Return of the King. <laughs> um, and then I like Gimli and Legolas are doing their kill count. <laughs> they're, they're just doing it. I'm like, guys. They're, they're still going with that. Guys, this was disrespectful. <laughs> These are lives you're taking. Yeah. Uh, and then we get Gothmog again crawling to Eowyn, and then he just gets killed by Aragorn. Uh, I kind of love it because he's because she can't reach a sword, and he's like about yeah. to kill her. And he's like, and then all of a sudden he gets shot by Legolas, and then <laughs> Aragorn comes and like cuts it's his arm a, off. I think Gimli hits him with the axe. He's like, ah! <laughs> cuts his arm off, and then just whacks him. <laughs> They're just tornadoing through these orcs. Yeah, it gets fucking annihilated. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, then Legolas does his Shadow of the Colossus. He climbs the Oliphant. It's still cool. <laughs> Scene. Yeah, <laughs> he just like he just cuts the two straps, and all the men are like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> well, <laughs> and then he I feel like he Flintstones could, down the. I feel like he could have steer the elephant away, but instead he's like, "No, I got to shoot it in the brain <laughs> <laughs> with three arrows." With three arrows, and yeah, then he does his surf. The Fred Flintstones. <laughs> what is it with the movies making him want to surf? He surfs down the stairs in the last. He one. can walk on snow. He walks above snow. He's very light. That's in the book. Surfing is not in the book. And we have two movies now where he's surfing. Because it's badass. <laughs> he's surfing on a shield, <laughs> shooting people. That's a cool scene. That was. Uh, but I love Gimli going, that counts as one. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> that only counts as that one. That only counts as one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and while this is happening, the ghosts just come in and just start wiping them all out. I love how they come, they're like a swarm of termites yeah, like, and they just, just they mow go everybody into the city, down. kill everyone. Yeah. And then I love I love in the background you just see the elephant like ah! <laughs> Um, I think they actually did build that giant dead elephant. Yeah. Or like part. There's like one practical. Where, where Pippin where Pippin finds Yeah, where Mary. like a lot of this stuff yeah. happens. So that's cool that back when they used to do that. No, and there's still there's still a decent amount of practical effects. But yeah, I mean yeah. it's still the large scale stuff. Yeah. They had and dies. And it's really sad. I like this scene too. Yeah. Um, because he's like, My body's broken, like this is it. Um, yeah. I'm glad that you know, I got to see you before I, I go, and mm. you're going to be fine. Don't worry about it, you know. And then she kind of falls over, and Carl Urban thinks she's dead, and yeah. he has a very extreme reaction. Very extreme. And then Which, you're like, wait a second, did she die? I don't remember her dying after by that. By the way, when Johanna told me that she was locked in that tower and definitely not sick, I sent the gif of Carl Urban going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, Gimli points out, like, hey, we should keep these guys in a fight. The ghosts. And it said, because they're like, all right, we did what you want. Release us. Did they do what they wanted, though? They were like, we got to fight this war, and that was just a battle. Yeah. I think it's just, I think that was more of a demonstration for Aragorn to be like, I'm a man of my word, yeah. and I can, like, work with people. Yeah, but you didn't finish. We're not finished yet. Yeah, but then it's just like, all right, he could be corrupted. He could use them as a crutch. It's not like the one ring. Yeah, I feel like he could use them as a crutch. like, well, I'll let you go when we beat these other guys. It's one of those things that well, might be... maybe not after these guys. Well, he has an undefeatable army that he can control. I know. And he that could corrupt him in a way. It would also break the story. Yeah. Um, but also, like, if he doesn't the, live but, up to his bargain, they could probably just leave, too. So it's possible uh, that they're like, they're like, no, we upheld your R in the bargain. You didn't. Yeah. We're out. Yeah, but specifically, they didn't ride into battle with Isildur against mm. Sauron. Yeah. So, like, you fought one battle. No. We're going to the Black Gate. We need your help. Yeah. Because you could just fly in there and just kill them all. Yeah. Or another thing. Because remember, it. I get it. But. Sauron was the necromancer, right? In Hobbit? Yeah, because he didn't have a body. Yeah. Do you think he can control the ghosts? He might. Mm -hmm. uh, he, th there might be things in Mordor that can, like, Fun control the dead. So it might be one of. Same thing with the Eagles. It's like, why didn't they take the Eagles? It's like, because Sauron would have seen that coming. Well, yeah. Yeah, he can see them. He's like, got oh. a big giant eye. Like, oh, those Eagles with that guy that I hate are been flying in my direction for three days. Yeah. I should kill them. <laughs> Um, I don't know. They they tear up those. Uh, yeah. Well, that's LPs that's what they only sh they only show up when they realize. Okay, we can win this one. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Um, the ring is gone. So yeah, uh, they let him go. Eowyn is dying. They rush her to the halls of healing. Uh, that's what it's called. Oh, did not know that. Yes. Uh, and then she wakes up and meets her replacement boyfriend, Faramir. <laughs> eh, good enough. You kind of look like Aragorn. 
light <laughs> dime store Aragorn. And then, uh, yeah, they're basically looking at each other. I know how they have like a little romance montage. I think this is all cut out of the theatrical. Yeah. Um, yeah they're like together, like looking out onto yeah. the land. And By stuff. the way, it's also pretty quick in the book. I was listening to it today. And he's like, I love you, Awen. I'm like, how much, how much time has passed? And this happened. Well, yeah. they, and they lived happily ever after. He's like, my dad didn't really love me. And then she's like, Aragorn doesn't love me. Let's settle for each other. I mean, let's bring Rohan and yeah. Gondor together. Because he does become the steward yeah. of uh Not the Gondor. king. Not the king, but no. it still has a steward. So she still gets to look at Aragorn. <laughs> <laughs> and the, they still live in the same castle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, maybe if Arwen just like falls off that cliff. Swing? You guys be... are into swinging? or Maybe they're swingers. Could be. Like our editor Jess, her parents are swingers. Really? So she calls it, she's on my friend show, yeah. The Creep Off. Yeah. <laughs> like the fans have just decided that her parents are swingers. Oh so they're my coming God. up with theories. How is that? <laughs> How did we get there? Oh, they. there's a thing on Reddit called Correspondence to Jess where they ask her <laughs> questions and they're so right. She gets so uncomfortable. It's hilarious. I, I, I would imagine most of us would. <laughs> but she's like, my parents aren't swingers. And then Pippin finds Mary. They're reunited. Yeah. Uh, they kiss each other on the mouth. And I mean. <laughs> So everyone's kind of relaxed in there. Meanwhile, the orcs in the tower are fighting over the shirt, Frodo's shirt. Man, this, this is really this is really the most wonderful happenstance, isn't it? This really is the biggest coincidence ever. I'm yeah. pretty sure one of these are Shagrat. That was like a name in the book they kept saying. Shagrat. And I thought that was going to be a bigger character. I think it's just one of these guys. But if yeah. He's, if, he's, if he's the one who wanted the shiny shirt. Maybe, yeah. Oh, okay. See, I think because they're like orc and goblin, and they always hate each other anyway. Yes, they they hate they all hate each other. Which I don't know how Sauron is able to keep them in line. I don't know. It's just like they don't want to unite. Yeah, they because they talk about how like they don't like Orokai, they no. don't like Morgul. Because I guess they're orcs from Minas Morgul, and he's yeah. like, we don't like you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he kicks the one out, and he's like, he tried to steal the shirt, and then they all fight. He tried to knife me. They all fight, and they all kill each other. He, the, I love the first one because he kicks him down the hole, and he yeah. falls all the way down. Oh, man. But yeah, Sam shows up, and he's just like, <laughs> ready to like ready to fight all these guys. And he's like, they're all dead. That took care of itself. There's still a few. It's like the scene in Dirty Work. With Norm Macdonald, where they plant fish in oh, the yeah. mob house, yeah, yeah, and the yeah. mob kills each other, yeah. and they're just sitting there like everyone's <laughs> killing each other. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uses the shadow to scare yeah the other the two. but he like he goes up and he holts his own. He kills yeah, those he three. Fucking, yeah, he slices them all up, and and Fro's about to get uh, reamed by the one goblin. Yeah, and he and he gets him from behind and <laughs> sticks him through the chest. Sorry, Frodo got him from behind? No, Sam got him from behind. Oh, okay. Frodo was the bottom. Oh. Yeah. Frodo what? Frodo seems like the bottom. He meets up with Frodo, wakes him up, and he's like, hey, I saved the ring. And then he's about to give it back, but then he, like, almost does it. Yeah. He's like, huh. That was awful quick. I think the ring is even more powerful because of how close it is. Yeah. But. To home. Sam's love and friendship is stronger. Deagle yes. and Smeagol must not have liked each other too much. I, I, don't, I don't think so. Yeah, because they turned on each other in five seconds. And Sam were... and Frodo have not turned on each other at all. Well, a little bit. Uh, not uh, as much. On the steps of Sirith Ungle, he was like, get out yeah, of Yeah, but they weren't smashing each other's head no. in. <laughs> it's because they're civilized hobbits, not, yeah. not uh, common river folk. <laughs> But yeah, he gives it back. Uh, they dress like orcs, which is pretty funny. Yeah, this is another one where it's like, is this in the book? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, they dress like orcs to go blend in. Yeah. Um, they blend in with a bunch of other orcs. I think in the theatrical cut, they cut out that whole sequence we're about to get to. Yeah, because like this is like seriously one of those things where it's like, oh my God, how the fuck are you going to get out of this yeah. situation? I like I like that they're just sitting on the road. They're like, yeah, we're just orcs. They're like, get in line. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, we're just fuck. hanging out, you know, you know um, doing orc stuff. <laughs> so uh Aragorn back in uh Gondor Aragorn decides that if Frodo is alive and he believes that he is the only thing they could do is distract Sauron. Mm -hmm. So like you know what if he's if he made it in Sauron might know and it's going to look for him let's distract Sauron. Well there there's if if Frodo's there, he's going to have to go through 10,000 orcs to get to Mount Doom. Yes. Because all the armies are in Mordor behind yeah. the Black Gate. Yeah. And I think Gandalf's like, he'll know it's a trick. He's like, nah, he won't. I got this. And I think 
I think this scene is cut out of the theatrical. I love this scene so yeah, much. He literally cuts a wrestling promo. He yeah. goes to the orb. He's like, hey, hey, I'm coming. Sarah, I'm coming for you, brother. You see this? I've re it's reinforced. Yeah. I'm just going to stick it right up your ass. This weekend at the Black Gate, <laughs> I'm going to take you down, Sarah. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Look at this sword. When you see it this weekend, you're going to rest in peace. <laughs> I'm going to put on that ring of yours. I'm going to be invisible. You won't be able to see me. <laughs> uh, but then Sauron's like, blah. Yeah. And then the necklace. He's like, oh, yeah, you want to fuck around? And yeah. he's like, he's like, here's your, here's your person you love, and she's dying. Yeah. Then the necklace. Yeah. The necklace falls and shatters. Yeah. And then it cuts to him. Which was foretold like yes. in a vision that he had. Yes. Which cuts to him uh, riding in without the necklace. Yeah. And the theatrical cut, it's. I guess maybe you're supposed to assume it's underneath. Yeah. But the extended cut shows, they show that to show that it's not there anymore. Yeah. And that adds an extra element because in the vision of the future with his son, the son is wearing that necklace. So it's like, uh-oh, that necklace is gone. Is that future fully gone it yet? It could be. It could not. We'll yeah. see what happens. Um, if he didn't do what he did, it would have been that future. Yeah. Uh, the bad one. And then Faramir and Eowyn, they talk a little bit. Anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I love you and you love me, so let's go... I yeah. don't know. We're not fighting anymore. Yeah. We're not riding into battle. We're just going to stay yeah. here. We're both single. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I I've like earned it. <laughs> back with the orcs, there's that big fat orc with no nose. Oh, yeah. Who, like, who, like looks at them, and then they, they start a fight to kind of sneak off. Yeah. They try to avoid the... They take all the armor off, mm -hmm. which, again, is also in the book. Like, Frodo's like, I can't carry... Like, the ring is so heavy that I cannot carry with, this. Especially with all this goblin uh, yeah. armor on. So uh, they're trying to avoid the eye's gaze because mm -hmm. the eye kind of looks at him. The eye yeah. is like sweeping all over the place. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that a hobbit? <laughs> uh... Yeah, so then um, right when it's about to focus on Frodo, uh, they come knocking on the door. He sure does. Aragorn's like, hey, I'm here. Look, Open up the black gate. Let the Lord of the Black Land. <laughs> now... This entire sequence is cut out of oh, the theatrical. Man, it's such a good and it's scene. Bru it's Bruce Spence from Mad Max. Oh, yeah. He's from Road Warrior and Mad yep. Max Beyond Thunderdome. Mm -hmm. He's in a lot of movies. He's so awesome. A lot of good movies. A lot of bad movies. Revenge of the Sith, Man of Steel. Um, is he in Ace Ventura, too? Isn't he one of the one of the uh, poachers? Maybe he is. It's been a minute. I have it right there. Uh, Joe, let's let's stop. Let's put on Ace Ventura too. <laughs> when nature calls, he's not on the box. <laughs> oh, damn it! I think when nature calls is the superior film. I also agree. Thank Just you. had that conversation the other day. I would have been. I would like like Sam. I would have been by your side <laughs> in that debate. Thank you, <laughs> my and, Sam. And you have my Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago. 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 No, we got to stop. We got to stop. We, we, like, Ace Ventura 2 is one Sh of those movies where you start quoting it, you don't stop. Ah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. Everyone loves a slinky. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so the mouth of Sauron comes out. And again, this is all cut out. It, it, it's, uh, I, think it's, I think it's a uh, really good scene that needed yeah. to stay. And now in the book, he's he kind of reveals. By the way, the, the they actually try to negotiate in the book, and the negotiations are like terrible. What are they? Uh, hey, can you not yeah. kill everybody? They or? were like, hey, because uh, they're like, we have your Frodo uh, in We have him being yeah. tortured. Here's his here's his outfit. Here's his mithril. And they're like, what do you want? It's like we want you all to leave. We want you all to leave this land, and then Sauron's going to own the land, and then you can't be here, and you all got to go, and then Sauron will run it, but I'll, like, the thing is, like, the mouth of Sauron, he's, like, he it was secretly was, like, the actual right-hand man. Right. Uh, he was going to be the guy, like, you know, you know, you have, like, lieutenants and whatnot. Sure. He would have been, like, the guy. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we're going to rule everything, and... They're kind of like, well, that's not really a negotiation at all. That's uh, pretty terrible, yeah. I think. I um, After all the shit that's happened, yeah. they're still like, hey, can you not be a bad guy? Yeah. 
I, do we really got to do this? A man, we don't get a close up on his horse because they mentioned the book that it's n- probably not a horse and that it has fire in its eyes oh, and its nose. That's pretty cool. And we see it has like a skull thing, yeah. but it just looks like armor on the horse. The effects for the mouth of Sar- yes. Sauron are just awesome in itself. Originally, so. it was going to be like a vertical mouth. Oh, Pussy that, face. Yeah, oh, that, I yeah. guess that's why they didn't do it. Yeah. Then it was gonna be like Hellraiser with like hooks and the stuff. But then they realized like it just didn't. It would have been bad. What they so, did was really good. Yeah. So they settle on this cool face, this mouth with the cracked lips, exaggerated. And then mouth. yeah, they digitally just make it, it a bigger. little bit bigger. Yeah. And his helmet kind of looks like Sauron. The helmet's cool, be- and espe- I especially love the absence of the eyes. Yeah. Because it's like, well, there's the eye, and that's the mouth kind yes. of thing. I don't know. Um, but yeah, on the nose, but it looks awesome. Whoever this guy, I tried to Google it. He doesn't really have like a backstory, but whoever it is, like he like was one of the few who actually talked directly to Sauron. Right. Um, so he's pretty much like the guy yeah. before Sauron can like build his body back. Sure. And in the book, they never tell you what happens to him. It's assumed that maybe he died in the final battle. Oh, really? Yeah. Cause he's just like. They're like, no, we don't accept your terms. We're going to fight. He's like, okay. This is so satisfying. <laughs> and this one, Aragorn's like, yeah, that's nice. And he just chops his head off. Because in this, he says Frodo's dead. Yeah. He's like, ah, he's dead. You guys lost. Just give up. And he tortured and he screamed. Yeah. And he loved it. He yeah. is, he is his So he shirt. cuts his head. But cool scene. Uh, it was cut out, obviously. Yeah. There is now a continuity error. Because in the wide shot, when they're all running away while the game's There's opening, a headless guy no, there. <laughs> no one's there. Like the like in the extended cut, like in oh, the yeah. theatrical cut, it's fine because mm-hmm. they cut it out. But in the extended cut, his body is nowhere to be seen. It's like, wait, where did that guy who just died Maybe go? Maybe he disintegrated. <laughs> Maybe we didn't see that. Who Maybe knows? the horse took off. <laughs> but yeah, it's just the way it's cut too fast. Where it's like, where is he? <laughs> It's like for the extended cut, you didn't want to like throw in the body back there. <laughs> was it shot? You know, like was that scene shot? Yeah, probably. I guess. Well, it's a composite thing, so maybe yeah, just, yeah, just put them in digitally. Put everything. Yeah, maybe else at in some digitally. point while editing, they're like, we're just not going to use this. We're out of time. And then, <laughs> and then for the DVD, they're oh, like, let's put it back in. Yeah, yeah. And then he has his speech. There might be a time where the age of men comes crashing down, but not today. But it is not this day. Yeah. Stand with the men of the yeah. West. <laughs> It's really good. Um, when the wolf, what does he say? Something like the wolves and we're, I don't know. Something, something. like that. It's really good. Uh, they get like completely surrounded. And then Gimli decides to stop being racist. And Legolas decides to stop being racist too. Yeah. It's like, I never thought I'd die side by side with an elf. He's like, how about side by side with a friend? I, I can do that. And then Legolas should have been like, you better go get a friend, <laughs> nerd. <laughs> and then he picks him up and he throws him into the US. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Touch me. So they're getting all like lovey dovey. Sam is getting all lovey dovey with Frodo, trying to inspire him. Yeah, because Frodo's like, I can't. He's like, I can't do it. Then you have that scene where he's like, I can't carry for you, but I can carry you. you. (laughs) And picks him up. It is like a half a mile to the door of Mount Doom. Yes, and I'm like, this Hobbit hasn't eaten in three days. And then in the orchestra howard shore's like stick is on fire yeah. and like the everyone's because like, the music is just exploding yeah. like yeah. uh and then it gets real quiet and aragorn's like for frodo and they run in. man it, it that's a great one i and love when he starts it, screaming and then like, yes. they all follow him it's just awesome. and now there's like a big battle uh and oh smeagol's still alive he sure is. How did he get in there without being seen? He's very good um, at being. He was sneaky. <laughs> uh, and only eagles show up and fight the Nazgul. Yeah, they kick their ass. Now, during this fight, you probably know what was originally in this fight, right? Mm, I think we might have talked about it in the first. I don't review. remember. That big troll that Aragorn's fighting. Oh, yeah. That was going to be Sauron. Oh. They shot it with Sauron. Yeah, but. That doesn't make any sense. I know. It was one of those ideas where, like, well, we want him to fight the bad Because it is kind of, it's one of those movies where, like, oh, wait, the good guy never fought the bad guy. That would be fucking dope. Sometimes it works. Yeah. Fifth Element. Yeah. Bruce Willis never meets Gary Oldman. No. Wrath of Khan. I know they fought in the show, but Kirk and Khan never interact, no. like, only through the screen. It, it also just doesn't work for the character of yeah. Sauron and what he is at that point. Yes. Yes. Like, it, I, I, he's trying to put his body back together, but we're not, I'm not even really sure how that's going to work. I know. Well, the, the book is super vague about, like, what's going on there, yeah. if he even has a physical body. Yeah. The movie said he didn't. So, yeah, I get the idea of, like, the, the urge to be like, let's see him actually fight. Sure. 
but they decided that no, it would break the story. I think there was an idea to have him in like his elf form. Uh, they decided Man. to go against that, so they painted over Sauron with the big troll. However, knowing what happened with the mouth of Sauron, I would have made him the guy that Aragorn fights. Why not? Right? He looks enough like Sauron. Yeah. It would have been satisfying. Yeah, and, and he's, like, he's, if he's like one of his main generals or whatever, yes, like the left hand. I feel like that would have been more sad if yeah. if you included him there and then they fought. I was thinking that before yeah. when I was watching. I was like, "Who's this big fucking troll with all this armor on?" I was like, "I've never seen one wield a sword before." The, yeah, that's the thing. They literally are like. Well, fuck, Sauron's huge. Uh, a, a troll. We're going to have a big troll. It's going to take over. But even like, now I'm thinking back that you said that, and I'm like thinking about the fight itself, and I'm like, oh, it's not, I don't know. It's okay. It's yeah. Final battle's like, no, all right. No, no, no. But like, if that was Sauron, I think I'd be upset. Yes. <laughs> because yes. it's not very yeah. great. I Like I said, mouth of Sauron, it should have been that yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. That would have been cool. It looks enough like him. Like, we know it's not Sauron, but it's like an avatar sure, for him. Sure, so sure. it would have been cool to see him actually physically. I mean, he does kill him, but it would be cool to see like an actual fight, not just yeah. the random decapitation. Oh, man, but that's so, as cool as that's that so was. That's so satisfying, too. Because it is weird. It's like, yes, and Aragorn's yeah. final battle is against troll in armor. <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> We killed all the good bad guys. Yeah. We were left with troll and armor. <laughs> Sorry. Troll and armor. <laughs> hey, what if Saruman was in this part? Oh. What if he had escaped? Fighting Gandalf again? Anyway, Frodo gets to the ledge inside Mount Doom, and he doesn't pass out from heat exhaustion. No. Anyway. Or smoke uh, inhalation. Or smoke inhalation, or, I don't know, radiation. I don't know, anything. I don't know. His, feet, his hobbit feet can yeah. withstand the heat. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he is above... The, the the lava, the lava. and he's holding it and what's we call it um he goes Sam to... comes in he's like throw it in and boom Frodo goes no the ring is mine he finally gives in after all that I mean after I guess I guess that. like when you're right on the precipice like that yes that yes. ring is like oh, don't don't you fucking do it don't yeah. you do it That's and the same thing happened to Isildur and again the ring I think is like working overtime now oh, like he time. wants him to put the ring on so Sauron knows where he is yeah. and the Nazgul will know where he is and he does and he does he puts the ring on and immediately Sauron goes oh the pupil gets real yeah. small and turns around and the Nazgul go flying towards yes. the mountain and then Sam who's an idiot and didn't kill Smeagol mm. Smeagol comes back and hits Sam in the head he should have killed him right there he he, he even cuts him across the chest with Stan yeah. like I would have cut his head off but then we can't have this. I know, I know, I know. Uh, but yeah, then Smeagol... Or else Sam would have to kill yeah. Frodo. <laughs> I do like Smeagol looking at like the footprints. Like, oh, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> he, know, he knows all the tricks. <laughs> when he's hanging on to him and he's invisible, it's pretty great. Yeah, that is pretty good. Uh, but yeah, he like spites his fucking he finger off. He bites his finger off. And then takes it. And then he takes it. I love like this moment because it's like he finally got it. He's like, yes, I got it. I'm so happy he's, like, singing and dancing. And then Frodo, not being noble, he just wants the ring. They're fighting over, over the, the ring. ring. Yeah, um, yeah, and he tosses, goes to tackle him. He tosses fucking Smeagol into the lava. Well, they both go off the cliff. They both go off the cliff. Like, no, Mr. Frodo. Yeah, but Smeagol's the one that actually goes into the lava. I love when he's holding it and he's, he's falling like, and he's ah, smiling. Ah, ah. Ah. <laughs> Literally not even caring that he's burning alive. He just doesn't want the ring to hit the lava. Yeah. It's really great. Uh, but yeah, the, the ring melts. Um, it, it literally bloops. Yes. Uh, Sam picks up Frodo, gets yeah. him out. Yeah. But yeah, the ring melts. The orcs retreat. Sauron screams and his tower collapses and then it explodes. As his, I do it's love so that. It's so awesome. Uh, where like the tower is collapsing and then the the eye implodes and it like shoots, it shoots all a shock the wave. Yeah, so over it, the top. It's all well. That's your bad. That's your bad guy. You know, yeah. the evil's finally defeated. Yeah. kind of thing. And then the ground. I don't know why the earth was connected to Sauron, but the ground starts like breaking away, killing all the orcs. Only some of the orcs and that. I think the troll lives. I think the troll's Does like, it? oh no, oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> well, the yeah. flanks that are behind the yeah. the good guys just run away. They just run away. And it's like, and everyone in the front is just collapsing. Just go eliminate whoever got away. Yeah, and I love this scene. Of, like, they're all so happy. Yeah. Like, Gandalf is like crying <laughs> as hell happy. Blood all over like, him. yes, we killed him. Mm -hmm. And... Got rid of all of those people's homes. I'm so happy. 
I'm sure they won't hold a grudge and reproduce and attack us later on. It's the no. best day of my nope. life. Uh, but then, then the celebrations cut short because Mount Doom explodes. I'm like, oh fuck, our boys are in there. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Ah, we celebrated too early. Uh. <laughs> they, well, they get out of there and they they end yeah. up sitting on a ledge. Yeah. And literally just accepting their death. It, it's a bittersweet ending, yeah. and um, they're happy they want they won. And they're thinking about uh, food, and they're thinking about Sam's and then, thinking about getting married. Yeah, at the very end. Yeah. After all they've been through, Sam's yeah. like. And I like girls. And Frodo's like, what? <laughs> huh? huh? And then the eagles come <laughs> before he has a chance to respond. He's like, Frodo, we did all this. And that girl I literally haven't mentioned since the beginning of the first movie is now suddenly on my mind. I should have married her. <laughs> but Sam. My Sam. <laughs> yep, the eagles save them. Yeah. And then he wakes up in bed. And the whole fellowship comes in. They come in one at a time. Yeah, He's like, all... oh, Gimli, you're great. Aragorn, I love you. And Legolas walks laughing. in. That Legolas walks in and Frodo goes, we didn't really talk. <laughs> but I love you anyway. I okay. think we mentioned that. Like yeah. The only interaction they've ever had was when he went, and you'll have my bow. And that's it. <laughs> they didn't say anything else to each other. Well, it's just the fact that like he's the savior. You yeah. Know? Like, he did it. Yeah. It all was relying on him, and he did it. Yes. Um, and Sam. And then... You think like, okay, well, that's a good ending. Oh, wait, that can't be the ending. We got to see the king get crowned. So yeah. then we have the big celebration. They waited patiently while Frodo yes. healed. Yes. And came to. Oh, he saved the world. Yeah. So, well, I mean, they kind of need true. him. Yeah. Crown the king, and he even sings a little song. Mm -hmm. He's like, hey, I'm the king. I don't know what the song is. And then his girlfriend shows up. They surprised him with his girlfriend. I came I, to give you my daughter. I would have expected her to be there. He should have been sad. I'm like, I wish my girlfriend was here. And Elrond's like, look, I, I'm okay. Yeah. Fine. I, 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 like, here I we go. Approve. Grandpa Elrond. Yes. Mm. Um. So, yeah, they're like, oh, we're going to get married, I guess. Let's make out hardcore in front of everyone. Mm -hmm. And I like this moment because Gandalf is the one that puts the crown on Aragorn, I think. Because in the, in, in the, or I don't know if it's in the movie. I'll check the movie. But in the book, he specifically says, I want the ring bearer to give Gandalf the crown and then put it on me. Okay. Like, I want it in that order. Okay. But I like this moment where they're about to bow and he's like, no, you don't bow to anyone. And then everyone bows to Frodo mm -hmm. and all of them. And I like that Frodo looks uncomfortable because, like, he technically gave in at the end. Like, he didn't Nobody actually. Nobody knows that, right? Yeah, he Except didn't Sam. actually do it nobly. It's like, no, he gave in to the darkness, and it was just kind of like an accident that he won. How, I wonder how he wrote it in the book. <laughs> I don't know. And then I valiantly walked up and dropped that ring right yep. into the lava. Yep. And, <laughs> and Sam... I killed Smeagol himself, and Sam tried to stop me. <laughs> it's, it's like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> wait, huh? This didn't get published yet, did it? <laughs> Um, Sam's reading it later. He spits coffee all over it or tea. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and everyone celebrates, mm -hmm. and the movie continues. Mm -hmm. They go back to the Shire, and Sam gets married. I like that. Uh, I do like that, like, everyone is, like, happy and celebrated, but then those four, like, war has changed them, and they're all just kind of, like, quietly sitting there. They're yeah. like, it's going to be hard to readjust. Yeah. That was a long bunch of years that just yeah. happened. Yes. Four years go by, and he's writing the book. And he's like, this is what happened, blah, blah, blah. Unexpected journey and the Lord of the Rings. And he's looking at the book, and you're like, well, clearly this is the end. No, Sam comes in, and he's like, hey, Mr. Frodo, we've got one more thing to do. And they get into a horse carriage with Bilbo, who is now ancient. And he's like, yeah, uh, Fro Frodo... <laughs> You ever, you ever have, you have that ring that yeah, I gave you? You saw my ring. You like, no, I want to just wear it one last time. <laughs> then he goes, I lost it. He's like, ah, oh, that's a shame. Shit. <laughs> um, but he mentions that his his wound still hurts. Yeah. So he's always going to carry that with him. Mm -hmm. Like a veteran. Yes. You know? Yes. Uh, they head to Rivendell. And the, Where are they going? They're going to the Grey Havens, the Undying Lands. Oh, right. Yeah. They should have just went there in the first place. Why are we in? Why are we in Middle Earth? If there's, I think the, I think we talked about this previously. It's like if Sauron takes over Middle Earth, he will go there next. Yeah, it's but, one of those things. But then, what do you do? That was a, that's a problem for ten thousand years from now. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, J Joe. the The sun is going to blow up in billions of years. Oh, are you right. worried about it right now? No, <laughs> exactly. 
sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's what if we're what if it's early? What if it's tomorrow? <laughs> um things that keep me up at night. Anyway. So yeah, the the ring bears, the ring holders are leaving Middle Earth. So uh Calembror or Celembror Galadriel's husband. Oh her uh what you call it, Gandalf. Is Elrond going with them? Elrond's there. Elrond is there. Uh Yep. Yeah, they uh, they're all gonna board Galadriel's the ship. There, yeah. They're gonna take Bilbo with them. I like it that they're taking Bilbo. Like, yeah, come on, little hobbit, we're gonna yeah, show live you out some the, shit. Live out the last of your days. This is it. And he says, hey, like, "How many days does Bilbo have?" Left? I don't know, but he's like, "I'm ready for one more adventure." <laughs> Frodo didn't tell everyone that he's leaving. Is that does that happen in the book too? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it probably. Does. Yeah, he. Le- I think it's just one of those like he just he's never gonna be able to return to his way of life. So it's just like, I think maybe it works better in the book because like he did all that war when he came home. War was also at home, yeah. so he just wants to be away. From I, I feel, but he because he, he doesn't. He's like, my dear Sam, yeah. I hope you'll, I hope everything's great. Yeah. Bye. But he does not like. I give, I leave you bag end and all the yeah. riches. Yeah, he does give him the book. Great. <laughs> he's like, there's a little bit of room left in there for yeah. your story. And he's like, well, I'm going to have two kids and <laughs> die in this fucking yeah. hole in the ground. And then they, they get into the boat, and there's this beautiful shot of the ship going away, and it fades to white. And then we see Sam going home it's sweet. and kissing his wife and with his kids. And then he goes and he shuts the door and it finally cuts to the end. I'm like, I, don't know, I feel like the ship was a good one to end on, but okay. I think I think it's sweet. I mean, yeah. you're also with these characters for three long movies, yeah. and it's like I want to see everybody. Uh, how how get many theirs. other endings should they have done? Should have, after he shuts the door, should it have like fade to black and then Treebeard is like, yeah. look, <laughs> eyes tree beard, he finally meets his end wife like again. We found the end Turns out they were over here the whole time. Oh my god. And then it fades. They were behind this bush. And then it fades to black. Yeah. And then it comes back up and Rohan's like, Carl Urban's like, I'm the king. I'm the king. <laughs> of Rohan. Yeah, and then it fades to black and Tom Bombadil's like, did something happen? And they're like... <laughs> Exactly how I planned it. Yeah, why is everyone so happy? Did something happen? Oh, and then, oh, he's and then Tom the Bomba Dylan. And somewhere. then the audience goes, "Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Who is that? He's the only one with colored boots, yellow galoshes." Oh. <laughs> and then Fatty Lumpkin, we get his ending. <laughs> he's in a fucking glue factory with the orcs. <laughs> oh, I do want to say the the book. Make sure you know that Bill the Pony lives. Really? They have a whole thing, oh, Build man. the Pony, made it all the way back to uh, the end of the pa- Prancing Pony, and they yeah. cleaned him up, and, <laughs> and Sam's like, oh my god, Bill's alive! Bill. <laughs> and then he lived with Sam? <laughs> Who cares? Or he let him go, he's like, you're <laughs> free to go. And, uh, yeah, that is The, the Lord of the Rings, oh. The Return yes. of the King. What a journey. It's a sad that Johanna couldn't be with yeah, us that, at the end. It's a bummer. I wish she was here. <laughs> it's her own fault. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> For <laughs> marrying a goblin who likes Troll 2. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I like man, Troll Joe. I'm, I'm so glad it's over. Until we eventually do The Hobbit. I'm um, so glad it's over. I'm looking forward to the first two movies. And then I'll tell you what, that last one's going to be a doozy. You know what? I've never seen the extended hobbits and i really don't want to because they're already too long Mm. but for the reviews you know we're gonna watch all the extendeds yeah (sighs) it's gonna be tough on that third one i'm gonna watch it in 3d and the high frame rate no damn you not the high frame rate yeah (laughs) god that was the worst decision ever man what a good trilogy It, it is it is Probably the definitive fantasy trilogy, it's like solid all time. throughout. I mean, it won a shit ton of awards. This mm-hmm. particular movie, people were all on board for it. Yeah, there's been some good trilogies, but this is one of the best. It's just so good. It really is, it, and it's so it really is. as for as long as we keep saying that the movies are like they're so mm-hmm. easy to go back to and play them again. Yes, and you're like, I love it. I'll just watch it again. Yes, again. just put them on. Actually, Joe, I don't know if you know this, but mm-hmm. I'm on Cameo now. Oh, you are? I am. Do you do impressions of the, the Rings characters as well? Someone made know. me 
do Scott Steiner's math promo from TNA, but do it as David Lynch, and I can only do Gordon Cole. That's Dave, such a very that's very specific. Very specific. But a girl got me to wish a guy a happy birthday mm -hmm. because on his birthday he watches the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Oh, really? So I gave him a whole happy birthday shout out and whatnot, that's and then I nice. got the picture of him. Looking at my cameo, wearing Hobbit boots with Lord of the Rings on in the background. <laughs> Book me on Cameo. Cameo.com slash Tony Peluso. Book me today. I'll read a bunch of stupid shit. Don't ask me to make out with Crystal. The first one I got was someone asked me to make out with Crystal. That's Is that a... Wait, is it... One, I think that's against terms of service. Two, yeah. ew. Three... <laughs> <laughs> there is no three. I'm not going to do it. Um, that's, so yeah. not, that's not the... No, you're supposed to say stuff, not do stuff. I know, which is why I turned down right, the request. Right. No, no, I know, but like, <laughs> it's not fucking truth or dare. I know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, check out uh, Cameo. Thank you all for your patience. Yell at Johanna. Uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you well, all for well, your patience. We hope you enjoyed the episode. Sorry we were late, but we got there. The, the Return of the King review arrives precisely when, when it, it means to. to. Johanna doesn't, but we do. <laughs> uh, Joe. Yeah. Where can we find you? You can uh, check out my show, uh, Movie Dumpster, I, that I host with my buddy uh, Sean O'Rourke at oh. moviedumpsterpodcast.com. Nice. Um, that's the catch-all, but we're right here on YouTube. If you want to like and subscribe and, and check out our show, we're also a movie review show. Um, we do different kinds of things than Tony. Yeah. Um, Tony's been on the show a bunch. A bunch. Um, so yeah, go check us out and see if you dig it. Recently, Sean was on the show. Yeah, we did. Uh, we did the what's the best animated Mortal Kombat yes, movie? Yes, and I was not there for that. You were locked in a tower. I was locked. You in were a locked tower. in Shang. Sung's I was on tower Shang Tsung's island because he wanted to face you, but the yeah. Liu Kang eventually came in and yeah, saved yeah, you. Yeah, I was in the leather <laughs> dress and everything. <laughs> he did put her in a leather dress. <laughs> well. Uh, I know I was talking to Sean. I mean, you could join in, too. I want to do more live episodes this year. Yeah. So I kind of want to do a live episode for the Johnny Cage movie that just Holy came out. Holy hell. A live one, huh? Yeah. All right, let's do so it. So we do, like, super chats and stuff. It'll okay. be a short episode. Okay. They're not long movies. Let's do it. Uh, but, yeah, no, the Johnny Cage one we were real excited for. <laughs> so I, I told him, I'll, I'll pick, like, a Thursday where we can do it. All right, let's do it. Um, but, yeah, so look forward to that if it happens. Uh, again, thank you for your patience. Please watch this episode. <laughs> um, make, make sure to like it and share it with your friends. Do all that stuff. Like it, share it. Go back and watch that second one. And then, I don't know, in a year from now, I'll stitch them all together. I've been doing I've been stitching episodes together for my I, franchises. I, I have seen this. Yes. So look forward to that in the future. I'm in a, I'm in a few of those. Yes, you are. And stay tuned for those Hobbit movies. <sighs> <laughs> We're, not on We're going on another adventure. Uh, I need a break. <laughs> You know what? One last thing. Someone did suggest we should probably take a look at the animated ones. The, the Rankin oh, the and Ralph Bass ba and the, the, the Ralph Bakshi ones? Yeah. 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 Th those are so good. We should look into those. Yeah, All right. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, and, and thank, thank you. Um, the Flail. The Flail. Thank you, The Flail, for this wonderful movie dumpster plush. We really appreciate this, and we'll talk about it on our show. So yeah. tune in. And that's the... Uh, by the way, I've already started posting... I will, uh. Th this check this review <laughs> oh, is just, just like the movie. Just, it's ending just like a reminder, three, three or four I, different I times. Just a reminder, I posted on my spicy site again. And that's it. And the merch. <laughs> no, that's it. Goodbye. <laughs> it's going to be Lord of the Rings theme. So I didn't realize I was doing it. Now I started doing it. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talking about tapes.